and we are recording. All right. So, last week, we went looking for a diamond. Uh, we went to a place, I believe that was called the Blue Oval, um, in order to seek said diamond. Uh, but they wanted us to, to do a bunch of things in order to, to get a diamond. Um, Raylan, myself, became very frustrated by the endeavor, yet somehow fully engaged with it. Um, and so I left to go procure rocks from the mines, uh, while the rest of the party decided to take the much easier route of asking around. <laughs> um, they eventually found a shop where a very strange individual, after some very puzzling conversation, um, sold them a diamond. Uh, and they they retired back to the the inn, I believe. Uh, while I myself went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth from the mines to the blue opal until I was gifted with membership into their into their fold. Um, that, thus believing that I had earned the right to purchase a diamond. Um, whether or not that is actually fact has yet to be established. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what happened last week. Okay, we got a whole lot done in three to four hours. We are fishing people. Yeah, I, I, mean, I feel like I got a lot done. You side quested into the sun. Yeah, you played RuneScape for two hours. That 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 that's something. I did something. And he didn't even get a shiny new bow out of it. He didn't even level I mean, up. <laughs> I mean, I did get it. He doesn't need it. Previous to this, so, yeah. I'm pretty happy with my new one. Okay, so. It's the morning of... It's the morning of the king's birthday. Um, and real quick, before we uh, get into this, okay. I did new tracks for some of the cities. Oh. So we don't have to listen to the same one on repeat every Ooh. day. What do you week. mean? I, I enjoyed the mind-numbing homogeneity of it. I mean, come on. Who couldn't stand listening to that same song for four <laughs> hours? Oh, I could because I didn't have the music. Nine sessions. I could because I didn't have the music on. Same. Yeah, I just yeah. haven't had music on in forever. <laughs> so now each city kind of has their own unique music track. I'm intrigued. I need to turn music back on then. How do I do that? They all good for the tubes, Josh? Yep. Excellent. <laughs> I checked all of them. We get this on as it is just someone shredding on a, on a guitar for four minutes. I mean, literally, if it's Kevin Mack, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Or other free use artists. Yeah, anyway, it's the most popular one, but anyway. Sure. <laughs> this was starting after she's just a bunch of power metal. <laughs> Answer. Fuck do I turn my audio back on? Go to the little Settings. cog wheel top right. Audio and video. Is it just the master volume level? Yeah. If you have it at zero, then turning it up should work. I just mute the tab, so I just had to unmute the tab, but no. yeah. Ah, I, 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 it says it's playing mute is, but I'm not hearing music. Mm -hmm. You might need to I mean you shouldn't have to, but maybe try selecting your audio output source. Hi, Bloom Josh. Yeah, probably. 
Mm-hmm. Because between between the two options here, Josh is the safe one. Hmm. Weird. It's randomly gonna kick it and scare the shit out of me at some point during the session. So we'll just probably we're gonna play uh roulette with it. It's fine. It's not a super loud track. Um, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, let's do some let's do some things. Yeah. Please. It's the, it's the day of the king's birthday. Party. I guess we just all go to the castle then. Wait and We specifically leave all of our gifts at the hotel. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we'll get you our. Well, yeah. Specific, and something like this is gonna pop up again. Josh is gonna be like, "Okay, where's your gifts?" And we're just gonna be like, "Hey, you." So, I just make a point to be annoyingly specific. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're gonna get you your so gifts you after you. Us. Yeah. We're gonna give you your gifts after you give us passage, so that way we both get what we want. No. Shit. <laughs> Well, I'm out of ideas. Um, man, I can't imagine they're starting this shit bright and early. <sighs> fucking at the crack of dawn, King's like, all right, everyone, fucking gay rats is over here. I mean, there are a fair amount of people in Brand, aren't there? Probably not. I mean, for all we know, he could want a full 24 hours of partying. He's already had, like, a full week. He's been, homie's been partying for days. Yep. He's been left alone for days. Yeah. Uh, that's where we find out that he's actually just been dead off of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Rest in peace. Way to go. He died as he lived. Hi? A king. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like they would have posted, like, when you're supposed to, like, come if you're getting gifts or whatever. Somewhere. God. God. Yeah, that's you. Yes. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just how you answered that. <laughs> um, <laughs> did we happen to hear or see of like when the shit's starting so we don't look like idiots? Yeah, did she tell no. me? More than we already are. No, she didn't tell you. That bitch. <laughs> I mean, if we're first in line. <laughs> all right, yeah, whatever, hey, I guess. For, for, for all you know, this is like Black Friday for them. So, you know, you guys <laughs> the motherfuckers camping out for like three fucking days. Like, first one to see the king. And then, you know, they pass <laughs> out because they've been awake for three days. Wake up at the end of the celebration like, ah, fuck. Yeah, so I guess go to the... Yeah, we'll have our brekkie fast. Brekkie fast. All right. Here you have your breakfast. I don't think we really need to get into it too much. No. Please don't. Please don't. I specifically only want to know what Edward has for breakfast. <laughs> book. <laughs> Edward eats his book for breakfast. Correct. He rips out a page. <laughs> no. Not no, the not. whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing, and then it just reappears right back on his belt. Eat an entire book for breakfast? That'd be impressive. It's how he de-stresses when he's frustrated with it. <laughs> Fuck you, bug! Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> Look, at least we know that, Ron that Edward has a high-fiber diet. I was trying to come up with some way to mention that without being crude about it. Fair enough. Um, yeah. So, yeah.
So yeah, you have your breakfast. Yeah. You chat amongst yourself for like an hour. Maybe. If that. <laughs> yeah, if. <laughs> now what? We don't it's probably that. like 9 a.m. Yes, we'll go, go to see when the fuck we're allowed to see the king. Yep. King time. King time. Soup time. Soup. Soup. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> okay. So you guys go to the, uh, go to the tower. The tower. Castle. Go to the castle. Oh, hold on. The castle the tower. Gate. Castle tower. The tower of castles. Um, they are, the gate is still closed as you round the corner and can spot it from a distance. Uh, there's a, a few guards out on post. Wow, what did they do to get hung up on posts? On post, not posts. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they interrupted the king while he was having a special me time. Yeah, that's why they're outside and not have part of the celebration. Correct. See. Bob. Hmm? Sorry, I'm watching my ping go to shit. Yeah, yeah, because I heard C, and then a pause, and then just a sound, and then nothing else. Yep. I guess we'll ask the the two guards that are on their posts. <laughs> um, hey, when king time? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, fam. <laughs> What's good? No, I refuse to be associated with that. Wait, we'll just, we'll just ask these guys if they happen to know when uh, when the gate's gonna open. Right after lunchtime, madam. Ugh. Ugh, fancy. <laughs> Too fancy. Um, well, yeah, it's his birthday week. You think he's waking up before noon? <laughs> uh, alright, well, that means I guess we just have three hours to kill. Yeah. Well, let's go play pool somewhere or something. Yeah, I guess we'll just, yeah, go find something to do. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? What the fuck is there to do in Brand other than drink? A lot. Yes. I don't know. Get things laid out before me. I don't have Google to just be like, oh, what to do in brand. <laughs> what do you mean? She's right here. <laughs> that's, uh, that's hilarious. You're funny. <laughs> You're really funny. I mean, you have two sources of information in the chat, technically. Uh, let's go back to the end and play cards for three hours or something. <laughs> this is when oh, Reeling pushed his side quest. Everyone's next side quest, locate a pool hall. 
What do you mean he wants to go play cards? Raylan's next side quest is to beat all of the Gwent Masters. <laughs> <laughs> he needs all the cards. Exactly. If there's one fun thing we can do in this city, but I can't, I can't in good faith send us there for this one without Mike being there because it's just, it just wouldn't be fair. <laughs> mm. So we're all gonna go play cards for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's all there is to do in brand. I mean, cards, that, mining, there's and drinking. <laughs> the third option. <laughs> Sightseeing. <laughs> oh yeah, you'll, yeah, yeah. You'll see a lot of sights. Now, now I'm just picturing we all just get one table and we just keep. Fucking, we keep fucking with one guy who just had us sit at the same table as us. With what was just discussed, please phrase that better. <laughs> Basically, if we manage to reserve our own like table for cards, there if somebody go. else shows up, it's going to be like seven against one. <laughs> seven. Anyway. Oh yeah, Zorsha. I assume Zorsha was. Zorsha's not there. She didn't get a yeah. gift. What? Well, I, I assumed it was still be at the end. No, four. I was counting us six. We're currently here, and K two. Yeah, but Darkalian's not. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah. Alien's still yeah, he's still in the limbo state. <laughs> oh right, fuck. Uh, he's still yep. dead. <laughs> I keep forgetting that, I'm not gonna lie. No. It's it's all he's good. A, I'm very he's forgettable. A, he's, he's in a limbo state. Tori, shut up. It's a damn shame because he'd have perfect he'd have a perfect perfect poker face. He went to a farm upstate <laughs> to go play with the other dogs. Whatever you want to tell yourself, kiddo. <laughs> mm. No, don't give me license to do that. That's just a terrible idea. Uh, yes, yeah, so I guess we'll just we'll just go back to the end. Yeah. Okay. Kill time for three hours. Preferably stay sober. All right. So, sober where are you gonna go time. looking for time to kill it? Uh, well, I do still have the piece of the chrono tree, so we can go there <laughs> as a start. But, yeah, that uh, might be a good start. But, uh, we, we can't get back in time because I can only teleport once a day. It's true. <laughs> and at that point, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Are there any clockmakers in brand? <laughs> there are, actually. Oh, yeah, we could go there and just break all their shit. That's killing time. <laughs> True. Go play cards and don't get drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Probably I'm not fine. the best idea to get to, to pregame. You mean? <laughs> when when, when we have to make ourselves seem birthday? competent and professional. We can get drunk after that. We yeah. can go clothes shopping. Oh my god, that is so true. true. We are dressed like... Well, I can't mean, Rob is nice and shiny, but most of us are pretty uggo. <laughs> we are uh, not the... Like the bandolier of hand axes doesn't scream professional? I don't know why I thought you were going to leave that a bandolier of hands, and I was like, no! <laughs> bandolier of hands! <laughs> How do you have more necromancer chic than I do right now? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh! All right, yeah, you know what? Also, Look obviously, it. it would be called a handelier, but let's go fancy clothes <laughs> shopping. A handelier! Oh my god! I have to do it because Mike's not here. Uh, do you? Uh, do you really? Do you really? <laughs> because I enjoy all of your suffering. Yes. That's going clothes shopping is already suffering enough for me. Fair. Yeah, painful enough in real life. <laughs> mm-hmm. Want your fancy clothes like five gold?
Why do I picture Edward just ends up getting like one of those weird prom suits? <laughs> With the ruffled front shirt. Oh god. Like the cravat and all that? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Fine clothes are 15 gold. At least base price. Fine clothes, yep. Gross. I'm not going to spend all this, this much money on clothes I'm only going to wear once. Because you never know and you might need them again. But also, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Alright. This, this is not a game where we've got a whole lot of money for... So you yeah, guys I are gonna go... Right now, but fuck. You guys are gonna go shopping. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go looking for fancy clothes. Yes. Uh... <clears throat> party, Josh. God damn it. What? So I just want to get to the fucking party, Josh. God damn it. <laughs> no, you're going to a shop. I have to do this. Why? He hates we'll us. You that's why. This. Because Josh likes to drag out the game for this as was... long as possible before we get into the game. the party, did you? No. I did. No. I did. No. <laughs> Josh, you can lie to me to a shop, and I have a list of shop names that I have to use. <laughs> Oh my god. Fine. You Where go to the tailor. What is the tailor's <laughs> name? Skin Brent. dependent. I'm sorry, what? Skin, Skin dependent. Skin I don't want to I don't want to go there. That sounds like a front for cannibals. I was gonna say, what are they doing? Stitching the clothes onto my body? What the hey. fuck? They're like, you're gonna wear this and then you're gonna like it because you're never taking it off. Like <laughs> you're gonna like the way you look. Yeah, yeah no it's really gonna fucking hurt. <laughs> no, it's not even I guarantee it. It's you have no choice. Don't you fucking do it. He has enough encouragement in his own existence. Don't fucking encourage him. Mm -hmm. So he, we don't have to go through the role play at Skin Dependent. I just wanted to say, say the shop name. Oh my god. You just wanted an excuse to say it. I did, and I did it. Independent. You know, if we've gotten this far, I might as well fucking roleplay. Let, let's see what chaos you bring with this. No, please, God, no. No, no, no. skip. No. Yeah, All yeah, I can yeah. think of in my head oh, right yeah, dialogue. All I can hear in my head right now, though, is Miss Independent. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you must know... Skin Dependent is run by a hairless bugbear. Mm. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> so an image. Weird. I don't I like it. that. I hate it. Okay. Just Skip. like every, it's just like she every image. She wears a suit. <laughs> just like every image of a furless bear. It's so weird. It's a fucking nightmare demon. His name is mm. Tyson. Tyson, the, the, I almost said the skinless bugbear. Oh god, um, <laughs> even worse. I was like, oh no, what have I done? Tyson, the furless bugbear, okay. Yep. That's all I need to know, moving on. Yeah. Any, anybody that buys fancy clothes spends 18 gold. Okay. I hate this city. Why did you make everything more <laughs> Because of the brand? Yeah, but... Uh, because everything is brand name. Ew, ew, <laughs> ew, 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 Best ew. part of the night so far. Granted, we're literally 24 minutes in. But... You know Josh was thinking it! All of you know that! <laughs> yeah. Definitely fucking was. We've been exposed to him long enough. Yep. Bitches got yes. fancy clothes. 
I do yep. say exposed as if his personality is radiation, because it practically is. That way sometimes. Anyways. Oh, I had an inch in my eye. Okay, we're good. Alright. So, you guys get your, sh your your clothes, fitted and everything, takes like two hours. Cool. Kava yeah. hates her existence the entire two hours. <laughs> I don't want to wear pretty clothes, I want to wear armor, goddammit. <laughs> Bro, that's like she she's shiny just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like most of us are kind of like various states of uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Except for like K2. We're all just obviously. like, oh, it's itchy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, imagine, I like to imagine K2's like helping the tailors and he's like smacking us, like, stop moving. <laughs> and we're like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> But, Dad, I don't need a tailored suit. You're gonna get a tailored suit and you're gonna fucking like it, boy. <laughs> so, so, what, an hour? Oh, how long is the walk? There are walk times, right? <laughs> oh, I just. I mean, it's not that long. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, it's whatever, we'll just go... For an hour? Yeah, that, or we can just dick around in front of the gate for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's an option. I mean, <laughs> play cards in front of the gate for an hour. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ending up like what? <laughs> yeah. Like real fucking weirdos. All right, so you guys go just randomly kill time till yes the party okay. Indiscrim yeah in in indiscriminately got it yeah no uh no victim bias here any time right. will do yeah it's about another two hours after <laughs> clothes shopping because he fair eat his lunch yeah yeah it was after it didn't necessarily mean immediately after. And uh, as you guys are there, more people begin to, to gather in the crowd. <clears throat> before the... Uh, before the gate opens, um, I'd say that you guys got there early, but weren't early enough to be, like, right at the beginning of people. That, that's fine. Yeah. We didn't really need to be, you know, first in the gate. Yep. So, as everybody enters, they pass off their, their gifts to uh, basically a a rotating ensemble <laughs> of. <laughs> Of like various castle conveyor, staff. Yeah, conveyor belt of servants. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and they... As you approach them, the other mm -hmm. person there says, Alright, what have you brought for the king? A handmade Sarnathi silk robe. Holds the chest up. Sounds lovely. Hand it over. Hands. 
All right. It's, it's very they... shiny. I don't recommend opening it here. Noted. And they just... They run off with it to another room when the next person steps forward. All right, who's next? What have you brought for the king? <laughs> uh, just, just for my own curiosity, the jar of griffin grease is what's within liquid or solid? Yes. Oh. Okay. It, it, it's in that kind of between state. Yeah. Icky. That doesn't help me determine what this is supposed to be used for. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's grease, it could be used to, you know, like, lubricate joints or other kinds of lubrication. Or it could be used for cooking. Don't know which. I will walk up and hand hair uh, this person, whoever they are, um, the rose that I brought. Like, this is a rose. I brought it for the team. I got him a flower. <laughs> <laughs> I picked it myself on the way here. <laughs> it's really pretty. It smells nice. I was right about to be like, it's real pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was in like a glass jar or something, wasn't it? Or was it just a flower? I think it was just it was just by itself. It's just by itself. Ah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Flower. There you go. Uh, okay, well, that's something. I guess I'll put it with the other four roses that have come so far today. And he picks up, <laughs> as you as you look, he, like, picks up another, like, vase, just takes it out, puts it in there, and the rose that he, he put in there from you just begins to glow, and then it just kind of moves in the, like it's being, like, blown in the wind. Oh, that's but cool. there's no breed. Kind of like, oh, that's kind of neat. So All right, we'll that... pass this random bouquet down. All right, man. you tell him that that that, that oh, one's from me. they're fucking vetoing the gifts. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that makes sense. It does. Funny. All right, way to come through with the sleeper excellent gift. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the surprise magic flower. <laughs> and I get to keep my ring. Happy about that. <laughs> the ring of supreme confidence. It makes you feel confidence. oh so pretty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> makes me feel good about me. <laughs> I'm beautiful. Alright. Next. <laughs> You give them. I can't believe you just have Griffin grease. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, it's like like a. <laughs> I forget how big it is. It's Rob big. Has to help you with it. Yeah, yeah because I, yeah. I am noodle arm. It is. It is a yeah. big jar. It's yeah. It's like thirty pounds. I think. It's the size More. of your torso. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like you know, full with a uh, questionably made fat substance. Like yeah, it's like 30, 40 pounds. Uh, if I were you, I'd just give it like a really good shake, so that the, yeah, the separated, yeah, like the separated liquids kind of recoalesce into yeah, one yeah, another. You know what? That is for the king's cook and or maintenance staff to decide what to do with. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'll. Just... It's a large jar of Griffin grease. I'm sure, it has applications. Maintaining doors. Cooking. Ha! <laughs> Griffin grease. Mm. Yeah, I that think the gardener good. uses this. No, oh, perfect. Yeah, it turns it into fertilizer. Yeah. Would be an application. Because it's poop. <laughs> huh. Oh. That's what is. Don't ask. <laughs> Don't ask questions. My only, my, my, my only response to, to your half question, Krista, would be Rocky Mountain oysters. Mm. Bad. Literally, <laughs> yes. the description of this is a glass jar containing lard 
with a label that reads Griffin Crease. Yeah, lard is fat, lovey. Yeah, yeah. Poop. you cook with that. No. No, it's poop. No, what? Lard is, lard, lard is fat. <laughs> it's yeah, lard is fat. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I want to change it up. What? You don't call it, it lard. <laughs> that is what it was described to me. At. That's why I got it. Grease mm. is if, fat. Griffin grease. If they're still going to take it, I don't semantically. Edward doesn't semantically care. Yeah, but Krista yeah. and Tori do. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. All right, fine. We'll do it by what it's initially labeled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was funnier as a fucking. I mean, then you should have named it something else. That is on you. Yeah, yeah, but there's. It's much harder to have an alliteration there. Yeah. Anyways, either way. All right. Yeah. Fine. It's a glass of jar of fat. I think Sorry, God's we're throwing a temper tantrum. He is. You should just let him have his jar of poop. It's fine. I'm not mad. It's fine. You <laughs> just go to bed without dinner then. Now. <laughs> the king doesn't want to see you guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you're not actually bringing us shit? Oh, well. <laughs> Too bad. Oh, this is just All cooking right. grease? Fuck that. All right, anyway. Who's next? Uh, I will give this person. Um, it is two separate vials and a little sheet of instructions because I'm giving the king an experience. One of them is like, kind of like <laughs> yes, I'm giving the king yeah. Ecstasy. <laughs> Wait, she's giving him drugs. Kinda. Um, so one of them is sort of like almost like cloudy and kind of like twisty in the jar, uh, in the vial. And that one specifically, when drink after drinking it, will make you kind of feel like you're flying. Feel like you're flying. Not actually fly, but you'll feel like you're flying for about an hour. And then the other one is sort of, it's really like still and really, it's just like, it almost looks like just water. Um, but on the instructions, it says that if you shake it and then you put it up to like any kind of light source, it'll make like a really cool sort of like kaleidoscope effect. So basically you take them, you take the one that makes you fly and then you use the other one. And then you kind of just feels like you're flying through like really bright colors. It's an experience. She's giving him drugs. So yes. like, how do people feel about you giving their 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 leader psychedelics, um, illicit substances? Well, I, I mean, mean, they're literally it just made. It's just made from two plants, and it only makes you feel like you're flying. It's not like you're like fucking completely out of it or anything. I mean, what if he jumps out a window? I, I mean, being made from plants doesn't make it safe. Cocaine mm -hmm. is made from plants. Mm hmm. There are also the instructions on how to make it, to remake it, if ever he wants to make more. That's hilarious. That seems like a... <laughs> not like I'm fucking pouring it down his throat. He doesn't have to take it. Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> Listen, just because you're all a bunch of ninnies doesn't mean the king is. <laughs> they, the servant just takes the glasses from you, the vials, and then just walks away. Hmm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Do they come back? Yeah, there's a rotating. Yeah, yeah, line yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. They're probably just in the back of the queue again. So that leaves. Gritha, no sir. No, Chris, they gave hers. Yeah. Okay. Yep, I will hand off and explain. I couldn't the... I'm sorry. How dare you? I was also dying for a good few minutes there. Fucking fight me, Chris. Fucking fight me, Tori. 
I will hand off the copper ingot of unusual hue. Thank you. This will be added to the treasury. This will be added to the paperweight collection. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fuck the plague. Trash the plague. I don't know why I thought of that of Atrum. You're saying that <laughs> <laughs> the servant just looking at him like, Atrum, yeah, walks yeah. up. Fuck the plague. <laughs> like walks Walk, away. Yeah, fuck like, the plague. Walks uh -huh. in, just like uh, uh, okay. All right, my uh, <clears throat> my throat is killing me right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. whatever, I guess Mike for whatever the hell Mike was giving. Yeah, K2 has Oh, the right bottle here. of wine! Yep. Was it wine? Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah it was a bottle of wine from... Wine. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, for, Which from... they happily accept and take it somewhere else. Take it to the wine cellar. If Omri knew where that was and she was here, that's where Omri would be. <laughs> I don't give a shit that you're the king, I'm drinking all your wine. <laughs> Putting it with the other 30 of the same bottle. Has Maybe. everyone given gifts then? Yeah. Uh, I believe so. <clears throat> yep. Cool. That's all seven of us. Well, the hell are we supposed to go now? Six. They just motion you in through the uh, large doors in the back of the chamber. Okay, I guess we just follow the stream of people, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you enter into a, since all of you bought nice clothes, you're allowed in, and you <laughs> enter in, <laughs> there, uh, into the grand party. Ooh! Oh man, <laughs> Mike's missing the grand party. Yeah, I know. Like, wow. fuck, this is like the one time we need Kate. <laughs> Well, we technically have K2. <laughs> well, yeah. w w that, that we need K2. K we need Mike. Words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one time we need Mike and his and his flowery words. Yeah. <laughs> and it's pretty words for being a magic fan. Because, you know, while, while Edward is passively decent with words, I say fuck too much. <laughs> Mood. Mood. Yeah. Three of us would at least uh, be a bit too... Uh, Blunt with a reproach. I say this as Atramir is a man of murder and not and not words. <laughs> yeah, that's not what Anyways, we want to do so here. Is it just like a bunch of people like milling around talking, or like and like yeah, for the most part. Like another... Okay. <clears throat> what was that last question? I was. Double check and make sure it wasn't like another line to just see him. <laughs> <laughs> like you walk through the door as a boom, yeah. another line, and then it's actually just like wander around, talk to people, shit. Yeah. Have, stand in the queue to stand in the queue to spend five seconds with the king, just stand in the queue to leave. You know damn well it could have been. <laughs> I well, man. Yeah. So the shit. king is, he is wandering around. So he's not like at his throne or anything, because this is not his throne room. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, right. This is more like a grand ballroom. Yeah. Like, you would have been ushered through, like, the, the entry line would have gone through the, a lot of the corridors of the castle mm -hmm. to get to this point. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just since we were close to the front of the queue, there's not quite so many people in here yet. Mm. Exactly. Um. So the king is wandering around, uh, as is Azalea. Um, they just kind of seem to be milling and conversing with various people. <laughs> Since this is a very me thing to do, and Edward is very similar to me, just like walk in, see all the people, instant social anxiety. <laughs> mm. uh. just, come on, Buttercup. We gotta I... pretend we like socialization. <laughs> I am not touching a single drink or appetizer here because I suspect it'll be worth more than my entire net worth. I'd hope a single well, appetizer wouldn't be them. worth. <laughs> yeah, I'd hope a single appetizer wouldn't be worth like fifteen thousand gold. You have the most net worth out of all of us right now. <laughs> yeah, 
plus Odal's hammer <clears throat> for like thirty five thousand. Single drink, everyone finds out it's worth more than everyone combined. <laughs> I hope not, because it. Uh, okay, you have the probably second highest because K two, but yeah, even then. Semantics aside, I feel like that would just add to your social anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a king. <laughs> okay. So, we're gonna actually, uh, mingle. Settle here. You know, it might be good to do that. For a bit, at least, so we don't just go straight to the king. Like, hey, we need to have a talk. Like, yeah, feels a little aggressive. Yeah. Everyone, roll to mingle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> like a stealth check using charisma. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> How quickly do you think we would lose Reelan? Insofar as Reelan committing a faux pas and being kicked out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> but he has the doggy, though. No, I... I I'm assume... sorry, did we... I This this needs to be cleared up, but did we get a tiny little bow tie to put on Fenny's collar? <laughs> no, Fenny is not allowed at the party. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Come on! I... <laughs> what if he's dressed up, though? He is still a wolf. Yeah, we get a, like a we get like yeah, a bow and like a powdered he's got wig. A bow tie on. <laughs> he's house trained. <laughs> yeah, we get him like a little bow tie, a little suit jacket, and a powdered wig. <laughs> oh, no, the wig. Look, look, I'm just saying, if people were allowed to bring their pets, do you know how many fucking pomeranians would be at this fucking party? Oh, that's <laughs> true. Or Chihuahua, or yeah. teacup chihuahuas. Uh, uh, yeah. Continually shrinking number is 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 the amount that would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what would get really kicked out. It's not he commits a faux pas. It's that Freddy keeps eating the pets, <laughs> or or they keep yipping at him and he just snaps at them. Like, <laughs> yep, yeah, that that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, it'd be yeah. Really, would be the one to bring the German Shepherd to a. Gathering of poodles. I mean, or yeah. Chihuahuas. Hey man, there wasn't a sign for where the little dog park and the big dog park was. So I had yeah. to guess. Anyways. Time to awkwardly mingle. I really want to. Yeah, I really want to see how well we just do at general mingling. <laughs> okay. Not Who well. are you going up to? Oh no. Oh. I honestly just wanna, I just wanna roll and then see how bad it gets. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can start with that. God just, damn it. Just, Do just, it. Just, just roll a d100. All right, how are we doing this? Like a d20. Oh Make god, a... I just realized. I just realized, right? You're still responsible for me. <laughs> yes, I am. Well, for That's a good buttons. point. Hold on. <laughs> Trying to make a charisma check. Okay, let's go. <laughs> just, just flat charisma. Yep. Okay. That was as bad as it could have been. Now I have to ask, just before we finalize all the results, feel free to keep rolling. Are you oh guys trying no. to all approach the same group, or are you all going the f and going your own directions? I'll make a perception check to find the least intimidating looking person to talk to. They're all intimidating to talk to. Yeah, this is yeah, all yeah. the Hoosier people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Who's here is probably mostly like the upper crust. Because, you know, they didn't have to wait in line. Mm hmm. Hey, yep. Also yeah, able to uh... afford fancy clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, their fancy clothes make ours look like poor people clothes. Yeah. They've all got tailored suits. We have the prom get up. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll roll for Atramir first. Yeah, I'll roll for oh, I know I'm what, so depressed. I know what my modifier is, Ryan. It ain't high. 
Mine's not that much better. Oh yeah, my god! Out. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I'm so sad! Alright, I'll roll for K2. <laughs> oh. Ryan, what's the result? K2. Uh, you got better than I did. You got a 12, I got a 9. So far, Oof. Nestor, we're a 13 and 11, a 7, yeah, yeah, a 12, yeah. and a 9. So far, the best, the one who, the one of us who's rolled the best is the one with the lowest charisma mod. Oh! oh, 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 oh. How did I roll the best out of this? Oh, oh, man. Because well, A2 well, well, and I rolled well, a 2 and a 3, Rava, and a plus Rava, three and a small. You, you see, it's because <laughs> Rava, unlike the rest of us, is Triton and therefore a little more exotic right now. <laughs> So people are naturally more interested in you. I can't imagine right. there's too many half orcs here. <laughs> so, so Briar, uh, you wander around, and no one wants to talk. The to first you. person that you stumble across is already drunk. Nice. <laughs> he comes up and he's like, "Hey, have you seen my pants?" <laughs> is he wearing pants? He is wearing pants. I pointed at his pants. It's a trap. He's not. He didn't come up to you. He came up to Briar. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured it was that we all kind of split yeah, off. Yeah, we've all, we've all s- split off to find our own random person. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. I I just sort of give him a look like you're wearing pants. He looks at you confused. And then looks down and goes, oh, how did those get there? <laughs> <laughs> you found them, thanks. Thanks, friend. And he, like, goes in for an awkward hug. And then just, like, <laughs> falls on his... Fa- he just slips and falls before he even makes it to you. I was gonna say, yeah, I'm like, wasn't very nice to you. Face. Catch his face <laughs> with my hand. He's one of those he drugs. Just, <laughs> he just, like, kind of passes out right then and there. I just step over him. <laughs> Oh, walk away. I don't even check on him. I just walk away. <laughs> no, check for a pulse. Just step over. <laughs> no, I just step well, over him yeah, she... there on the floor. Briar doesn't need to check for a pulse. She's not trying to try to drink from him right now. Uh, it wouldn't be the it wouldn't be the first drunk guy she murdered. Listen, I had mm-hmm. breakfast. I'm okay. Also, <laughs> God. Anyways, um. Edward and K2, as the two of you kind of, you split from each other, mm-hmm. make your way through the crowd, and then you bump into each other awkwardly <laughs> a little bit later. Yes. No. I guess it could be worse. Fancy seeing you here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many fucking people. Um, Rewin. Yes. As you're kind of wandering about, uh, <laughs> you're approached and somebody taps on your shoulder. Okay. I, I, I turn to face them. Yeah, you turn to face them, and you're looking forward, and then you have to glance up as standing in front of you is. Definitely a taller figure than you were originally expecting. As a dragonborn is standing in front of you. And she says, You need to move. You've stepped into my path. I apologize. I stepped out of the way. You step out of the way, and immediately as you move to the side, you notice immediately, like, flanking her on her left side is a red-scaled dragonborn, and he just looks at you. Oh, God. And then the two oh. of them just brush past you. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Hey. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why do we have such bad encounters with dragonborn every time? Uh, it's lovely to meet you. The pleasure's all <laughs> Um, you seem to have found your way over to the food table. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, okay. smart idea. 
Yeah. And jumping from one side of the table to the other, picking food as they hop over, is a herring gun. Oh. Huh. A rabbit, okay. per rabbit person. <laughs> and he just, as, as he's hopping around, he's, he like, midair, like, almost freezes as he does a flip in the air and looks at you with a, with <laughs> a piece of cheese in his mouth. He goes, oh. Hello. Hmm. And uh -huh. he just completes the flip. <laughs> Mildly impressed. Thanks! And he scurries under the table. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just internally, I respect him. He was a man on a mission. It's, there's nothing he can say. He's just gonna have a drink and just be like, okay, yep, that's a thing that happened. Oh, um, real quick, Greeland, the, uh, the first Dragonborn was Emerald. Oh, okay. <laughs> Internally, please don't be the same pair that we know from last time. <laughs> I was gonna say, does this mean anything to me? I don't think it means anything to me. I don't think you were there. No, I don't think so. But you were told of the encounter that yeah, Edward yeah, had yeah. with the Red Dragon Yeah, board. the only ones there were K2 and Edward. Alright. Um, Rava. Hi. As you're kind of milling about, you, uh, you bump into a, an older lady. Uh, or rather, she bumps into you. She adjusts her glasses, and she's like, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Oh, look at you! You must be one of those tritons. Yes. Are you royalty? No, no I'm not. I was shamed. <laughs> Wait, what? She says, how ashamed. Ashamed. She just... I was... born to the general, not the royals, unfortunate. Yes. Ah! Daughter of a general! Where is your silver armor? Yes. slightly confused because I am wearing it. Or maybe Krista's confused. <laughs> you may be wearing it. She is still asking. I think this lady's blind. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was just, I, I'm currently wearing it. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Oh, excuse my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Between you and me, I can't see a damn thing. Don't let my daughters know. They'll put me in a home. What's the word? What, what brings you to this party? Uh, I hope to talk to the king. Oh! Good. You're not here for the chocolate seller. That's mine. Oh. As soon as I can find it. I I've been searching for 20 years. I, guess I respect at the food table. <laughs> no, there's a whole room of it. Oh, shit. It's made of chocolate. Oh. Even the chairs and the paintings. Are all chocolate. I, uh. I unfortunately can't help with that. I can help That's you okay. I don't want you to, to find it. Some chocolate? I can only that's imagine the, the unhinged expression that's on Josh's face. <laughs> that's, that's good chocolate. But the chocolate room is the best chocolate. Ah. That's where they keep the chocolate statue of the king. 
and I'm going to eat it. Mm. Don't tell anyone. I... She just like backs away into the crowd, bumping into everybody as she does so. <laughs> wow. Bryce, Bryce, make a subtle and stealthy exit. But <laughs> also to everyone. That, uh, that went a lot better than I uh, than it could have. Okay. You know. Just met a slightly unhinged old woman looking for chocolate. Like you Listen, do. I could have ran into a racist, so like... That's true. Solid. Yeah. I'll take a, a weird few, old lady. A few seconds later, she bumps into you from behind. <laughs> She's like, I'm back. Have you seen the line of raspberries? No, I, I don't believe I have. I need to find that first. I've heard rumors it leads to the chocolate room. Raspberry hunt begins. I, I feel like <laughs> I need to write this down. What's gonna happen? You feel like you're gonna run into this woman a, no a number of times? No, I feel like we're gonna walk away, and I'm just gonna see some fucking sign. And be like, <laughs> ah. Side quest acquired. <laughs> Find the chocolate room. Uh. Okay. I just kind of look so just maybe try not. Not what? Not the ballroom. Oh, good point. Maybe if I search the king's bedroom, it'll be there. Holy shit! The first clue. <laughs> Don't follow me. Don't That's follow turns, me. That's what it turns out. This is like his mother, and she's just nutty. Fucking with you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's just his mother just looking to have a good time and fucks with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She does like the I'm watching you hand gesture and then just like walks backward into the crowd knocking over a few people as she does <laughs> right okay that is definitely the guard's problem not mine yep I'm just gonna walk away from this area before you run into her a third time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's who you guys got with your rolls. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking terrible. Oh my I mean, god. I'd say the unhinged old woman was probably the best result. It was. Because it was the best result. Yeah, because it went for the best character. Yeah, Rava who rolled the highest. Yeah. I got a Heron God who's on a mission for food. <laughs> Which I don't blame. Um. So obviously... There's the fucking dragonborns, which are probably very easy to spot if you're just looking around the crowd. Yes, they are the tallest people here. There are no Goliaths, so... Like I said, probably the really easiest to see. But, like, is it just a bunch of humans, or...? No, there's a bunch of other races here, too. I just didn't explain any of them. Oh, you're mm -hmm. good. With that experience, Rama just needs a moment to contemplate her life choices. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the crazy lady, though, was human, so... Yeah. Humans do be crazy. Again. The last I encountered was human. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking yes, did. he was. <laughs> yes, he is. But I imagine this probably skews majority human. I picture Mike is gonna watch the episode and go, "That son of a bitch." <laughs> For what in particular? I don't know. Okay. 
Yeah, there are, there are a lot of humans, but there's also like a good mixing of the you know everybody else. Mm-hmm. It's like in reality, I run into my dad. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny you say that. Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not there. <laughs> I would be worried if he was. I'd be. <laughs> You'd be worried if your dad was here. I'd be worried if mine was. <laughs> oh yeah, they just pull him up in the wooden onesie. <laughs> yeah. You just hear out of the corner of your ear, Edward. Just best I can do for you is five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's assuming there's enough of him left to talk. Right. He's been dead for nine years. Well, you, you just, you're dealing with Elvin Rick Harrison. Eventually, you're going to run something. All right. Um... Best I can give you is nine years dead death, and then I got to go back to my pawn shop. <laughs> cool. Yeah. I guess since all of us failed, we have to just kind of do the walk straight up to the king. Give as, the, we're, uh... as we're all discreetly separated from each other, except for like mm -hmm. K2 and I. Reconvene, so like, oh, so how did it go? <laughs> uh, I got ah. mean mugged by a dragonborn. Mm. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that makes that makes two people at least. <laughs> Second time, I think now. I uh, an unhinged old woman. No idea who she was. You hear in the background somewhere. I found a raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> And like a head, uh, a couple of heads turn, and they're like, and then you begin, you see people talking now, like huh. hushed whispers. <laughs> Any uh, connection? Yeah. Fossil arm, oh. strawberry. Delicious. Maybe we should talk to the king though. This is this, this yeah. place feels yeah. very strange. Yeah, I mean. Ran into, an, ran into a heron gone. That was an interesting interaction. A lot of people with a apparently a mission for food. Yeah, sort of hot, it it fancy food that they're getting for free, basically. Yeah, exactly. It is a party. <laughs> you like you all just notice Azalea is just standing there. Fucking help, Jesus Christ! How long have you been standing there? Oh hi. Oh, hey. I just got here. Okay. Can you give, can you give somebody a heart attack with these days? Probably already has. Multiple times. Yeah, that checks out. Oh. Not good. Yeah, that, that checks out. Is it just her? Because I know she was walking around with the king earlier. They were separate. Oh, mm -hmm. oh okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just they were the two most notable walking around because... Yes. They're the only two fuckers we actually know here. Yeah. Or at least know of. Are you aware of the older woman trying to find a chocolate room? Yes, she's been trying for 20 years. She... Oh, wow. Okay. That's the king's mother. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> she is it was, nice! It was too good of an um... idea. Josh had to use it. <laughs> I had it written down. Oh. You had it written down, and we just happened to guess it. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, just, yeah, she just got a spot of dementia. But she does seem nice. Is she okay? Oh yeah, she's totally fine. See, there's a story behind it. So, about two decades ago. Wow. The late king was still ruling. He did have a room 
made of chocolate built. Um, and then things happened, and the room melted. And yeah. then they had to clean it up because it wasn't well regulated temperature wise. Mm -hmm. And she's kind of gone insane because of it. Because of the chocolate melt. She is obsessed with chocolate. Ah. Okay. And so the loss of said chocolate hey, her, had devastated her. The, yes. The. The seed was already planted, it just needed a catalyst to grow, got it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense on why she asked me if I was a royal. Yes. Because if you were, you probably would have known the location of the chocolate room. But it's not there anymore, it's just the closet now. Seems like a very expensive waste of time. It keeps her occupied. I meant the actual room itself, not her chasing after it. But, well, it was an idea. I don't fault him for it. Look, when you have money to burn... It could be spent better other places, but... Uh, we're we're not here to criticize no. any yeah. habits. Um mm -hmm. We need to talk to the king. Yeah. That's all we're here for, really. <clears throat> oh well, pardon my existence. I that's not I I I mean I Well we enjoy your company. You can, I don't believe you can give us the permissions that we're looking to it from the king? That sounded mm. fancy enough, sure. By all means, go talk to him. I'm sure he wants out of that Dragonborn conversation. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Word just slowly turns looking for Dragonborn. Sees Red, doesn't verify if it's who he thinks it is, and just, I think I'm going to stay here. Okay. You can you do it over. Come on. It'll be fine. It can't be, it can't be that bad, Edward. I'm good. I'll go it, talk it. to the king then. Uh, well, yeah, if you're looking call. for benefits for your whole party, you should probably all go. Look, Edward, you're only the chances of you getting thrown off a second balcony are very low here. How would he get thrown off a balcony again, though? And you say very low, but I'm spotting at least three balconies from my view. <laughs> well, we'll never know until we go. Let's do this. Fine. Okay, you can hide behind me. Maybe you could also hide behind me as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hide behind Rava as Edward is taller than Rava. <laughs> right, her very much just looking at him, like, dare you to say something about it. I like to uh, imagine her mind, she's like, oh, right, hang on. Oh, no, she <laughs> is totally aware, because she has to look up to, like, talk to him. But, like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, uh, if, if, if his brain comes up with a way to come back, it does not leave. But yeah, Edward. We just stick Edward goes. at the back of the group. <laughs> yeah, Edward goes reluctantly. Behind the fridge. <laughs> yeah, probably. So you all <laughs> go up to the king. Squat up. <laughs> pushing our way through the crowd. Or yeah. maybe not maybe not pushing, but I imagine we're imposing enough that path probably <laughs> we can probably just <laughs> i mean between you and atramir and rava yes well part of me excuse I'm me small. part she of me knows how to move around people oh well yeah. rava also might move out of strong. the way face yeah i mean yes they might move on their own accord but if need yeah, yeah. Be, she can just yeah yeah like atramir is big briar has rbf and rava is rava mhm mm 
<laughs> Between the three of us, we can carve a path. We'll find exactly. It. Anyways, I but forgot. Yeah. We walked up to the okay. king. Yep. King time. You walk up to the king. Um, as you approach, uh, he seems to be finishing up his conversation with this these two dragonborn. And as they turn to leave, the uh, the red dragonborn makes eye contact with you, Edward. Of course he does. As he just, like, looks over your group, looks at you, gives you a slight smile, and they just walk back into the crowd. <laughs> I'm not going to make an insight check. Edward just assumes it's malicious. <laughs> it is. <laughs> the, uh, he's not hiding it. Well, well <laughs> even if he was to hide it, Edward assumes it's malicious. The odds of balcony throwing have exponentially got up. Yes! <laughs> Had you <laughs> slowly head tracking yeah. for at least until he gets out of easy for easy visual range. Anyways. Yeah. You, uh, as you approach and he ends a conversation and standing there on his own, he looks at all of you and goes, Oh, some sanity. Welcome. <laughs> Brian thinks there's oh. something that's debatable, but... <laughs> yep. Also, internally. Uh, enjoy best, uh... your own party? Oh, no, it's lovely. Just strange company sometimes. Ah. Mm. Gotcha. Glad you can make it. We've met before, right? You look familiar. Yeah. Yes. 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 Um. Well, we are here to wish you a very happy birthday. Uh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have to do words. Ah. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. Sorry, Chris is having a meltdown, having to actually be. Words. Deeply. Krista having a meltdown because words. Yeah, you know what? Solid. Yeah. I feel that. Uh, okay. Where was I? Uh, words. Okay. Um, we did come hoping that you would hear a request we may have. Seems odd. It unfortunately did just coincide with your birthday. It didn't mean to happen or your birthday. I must assume uh, we could possibly secure our audience. Yeah, and, um, our, our, request is, our request is potentially time sensitive. We would like permission to. My chair almost fucking fell back. It just suddenly creaked back, and I thought I was gonna fucking fall for a second. Hey, oh, when that God. happens, then you have yeah. a mini heart attack. The worst. Uh, yeah. I accepted it with quiet acceptance, too, and I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> well, this is it. This is how I go. Yeah. Well, um, it's been fun. I'm sorry. I am. about this. Uh. We were seeing if you would grant us permission to go into the Underdark. Absolutely not. It's far too dangerous. Yes. For the average person, yes. I, I would quite yeah. agree. Mm -hmm. Or trained soldiers as well. Yes. Um... I wish Mike was here. This is a really bad time for Mike to not be here. I... We are to assume that you are aware of the situation regarding the prismatic halo? 
But who? There is a new cult that has been wandering around the uh, continent. Um, the individuals who established your execution day. Yes. Oh, yes, that was wonderful. It's very nice of them. Yes. Um. How did that go, by the way? I heard there were some twists involved. Um. There I were heard... executions. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Nothing to be concerned about then. See, there there is a uh, slight concern with their uh, leaders or higher ups. I. They have been putting totems. Uh, out that cause severe harm to anyone who uh, gets within a radius of them. Um, so we seek to stop them. I, I don't even. I don't know where I'm going with this. Fuck. Um. We've encountered totems laid by them, which have caused individuals great harm or death. Mm -hmm. We have been on the experiencing end of some of these. One of them irradiated a... an energy of decay, whereas one caused great lacerations across the body and a strange inversion of the internal organs. We've so yet we... to encounter... We've yet to encounter all of them, but... just based on these alone, we cannot assume that any of the remaining totems will be any better and may be worse. Uh, well, that so does sound terrifying. Yes, uh, the reason for the Underdark is their leaders have taken up residency there. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds like if they're in the Underdark, they're not a threat to anybody up here. It's Not right now. The leaders yeah. who are there, they're, they're people who carry out their orders are still here. Out and about. Yes. You just um, recently got rid of one cult. Are you sure you want to replace it with another so, so soon? Well, we've had no dealings with this order. <laughs> oh. I thought he was just going to be, no, we have, no. No, 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 no. There is no cult in Bossing Say. There is no cult in Bossing Se. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Well, yeah, we've we've had no negative issues with this order. Right. Um... Certainly don't foresee this being another church incident. Of which, thanks to you, we were able to eradicate. There, uh... Unfortunately... Your Majesty, it seems that it could become another church issue. Um, there have been reports of... A prismatic halo forcefully uh, taking people uh, for their order. <laughs> um, so we would like to at least try and speak to the leader, I suppose, and see if there could EA compromise is the word I'm looking for. Fuck. Uh, Some sort of negotiation. Yes, of issue with the totems and, and maybe even just clearing up the uh, kidnapping and murder. Particularly the murder. That's my main concern. For all intents and purposes, uh, Sorry, no. Your Highness, this one's quite personal for myself, at least. 
but I will leave it at that. Um, Rava, go ahead and make a persuasion check at advantage. You've got advantage, believe. Sixteen. What did you roll? Sixteen. Okay. Did it not go through? It went through on my end. Yeah, I see. It. Went I see it. I guess it's your I, pain. I stepped size. away for a second. Oh, okay. Hmm. I can issue a summons for their leader. I still don't find it worth it to travel down there for such a thing. If you have a list of names, I can summon all of these perpetrators together. I'm a Southman. Okay, that's a good start. It's the only one I know. That's... she is the leader that we're aware of. Um... The name sounds familiar. No, never mind. Don't don't remember it. I can send a summons, I suppose, to the Underdark. Might take a while before it reaches. What section of the Underdark is she in? We're unsure, un unfortunately. Oh, well, it, was supposed to be, it was supposed to be a place called the Pit. No, oh, another good yeah. reason not to go down there. I take it the pit has earned its namesake. Because it's a pit. <laughs> it, it's a mass grave. There with the look of like, well, at least, uh, why is that a mass grave brand. beneath the city? It's beneath the continent, not the city. Why is it so deep? I died there. Well, there are creatures that live underground and other societies as well. Their handiwork, not ours. Not to mention whoever uh, ventures into the Underdark. That's mostly who those corpses belong to. The summons would be appreciated. Who who do you send to bring the message? Wouldn't it be easier to send us who are willing to go than sending somebody that probably does not want to go? Well, based on the conversation that we've had so far, given from our green friend here. Uh, it sounds like you have a personal stake, and I can't really risk that God for a summon. Damn it. So we'll send one of our animals. Something that can burrow into the Underdark.
fine. Yeah, the... That's Do you have any good. other names that need to be summoned? It sounds like Falma is in the Underdark. There were more up on the surface that were causing problems. If you have their names, I can summon them as well. Un unfortunately, we don't. I understand. I believe the individual that would know is not currently with us. Correct. We're just hard. He's not letting us in there. <laughs> I know. Okay. Fine. Whatever. The, the summons would be greatly appreciated for you, King. Um, thank you for your assistance. Happy to help. Is there anything else I can assist you with? On this very pleasant day. There is one thought. You wouldn't happen to know the cleric by any chance, would you? I used to. And glances over at Briar. <laughs> Briar, for like the majority of this conversation, has had her hand like over her mouth to stifle laughter. Well, no, this just got interesting. I forgot about that. <laughs> right. Right. We've outlawed the church since their last visit. Okay. There are no clerics remaining. Okay. See, uh... Thank you. Your closest bet for a cleric, or in this case a shaman, would be to travel to High Gulf. Convenient. Good to know. There. I do have to warn you, though. If you do travel to High Gulf, it's it is a civilization, but it's different than others. In a more unique way. Hospitality is its own style. Rama's standing there confused like, what? I mean, considering my uh, upbringing, I'm... nothing at this point can surprise you. <laughs> well, I used to generosity in large quantities. Um, they're very friendly. Oh. It just takes getting <laughs> used to. He made it sound like a bad thing. He did, so that's why I'm just like... <laughs> he made it sound like something terrible had happened and like that everything had changed. It's like, now they're just nice over there. Uh, while well, this coverage has been going on, can I see Azalea through the crowd, or do I have to... Oh, uh, you'd have to make a perception check. Okay. Oh, City roll. full of Tom Eric. That's what I'm afraid of. That's <laughs> horrifying. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> uh, you glance around, you don't see her. Fuck. 
Fine, whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna step away. Okay. I guess go looking. Okay. I know full well this is gonna bite me in the ass, but that's fine. <laughs> um, if you want to ask around, you can make a investigation charisma check. Oh, that's worse. Okay. <laughs> What'd you get? 17. Okay. Um, you ask around, and um, somebody tells you that she stepped away for a moment with the king's mother, um, <laughs> trying to calm her down as she had gotten frantic. Okay. I... I guess in that case, because I don't necessarily want to interrupt that, I guess just... Wander a bit, trying to avoid the Dragonborn as much as I possibly can. Alright, make a stealth check. Okay. 21. 21. Alright, you feel like you're doing a pretty good job at avoiding him. Or both of them. Them, plural. Uh, yeah. Both of them. Because apparently just looking at the Emerald One means that the Red One is going to find me. So, yeah. And you kind of find yourself as you're hiding over by the food table. And you hear a, a voice from under say, is it is it safe to come out yet? That depends on what you're hiding from. The scary green man. <laughs> Edward, not putting together this is Atramir. I I think she's a woman. That changes things. No, it doesn't. She's very scary. Sounded like a man. Looked like a man. Are you sure it was a woman? Like, pokes his head out, his ears sticking up. And he looks mm. over, sees Atramir, and goes, That thing, that's a woman? Oh, no. What is that? He's a half-orc? A half-what? Or... Legends are true. <laughs> what, what, what? I'm surprised he's not killing everything. We've heard they're very ravenous. I. That's. What? The orcs. They've. They're said to have killed most of our ancestors. Oh. And if he is half of one, I can't see- imagine what a big one would be. Uh, uh, half in, in terms of, of blood, not in size. Orcs don't necessarily get much larger than that. Oh, that's a relief! And in any case, whatever vendetta your ancestors and his had, he doesn't share that, so you don't have to hide under the table. Make a persuasion check. Okay. But you think, little do we know, Atramir is actually <laughs> yeah, a bloody yeah, murderer of this guy. Yeah, yeah, people. yeah. Little do we know, Atramir in his spare time yeah. wasn't around the wasn't let around the bunny hutches. It's like a fox <laughs> got in there. 22. We say this as Atramir has only ever given off of like aged old dad vibes. <laughs> hey man, he's right. he, uh... 
he go, he's like, okay, I love you. If you promise he's safe. He just like crawls out and stands up. I mean, I've traveled with him for a while and... I mean, I guess if you make him, if you make him upset, maybe, but... You'd have to really try to do that. If this is on, really try. <laughs> okay. Then I can continue my feast. And he just goes like, oh. <laughs> yeah, hopping over the table, taking food. It's quite acrobatic. Mildly impressive, one might say. Huh. Okay. He was just kind of like watching this. Well, I, I don't have any indication of when she'll be back, so I guess just like watching for like 15, it, it 20 would be minutes. Right about this time, as you finish up this conversation, that she would be entering the room again. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess try to intercept her before she gets into any conversations with anyone else. Okay, yeah, I'd say it's not that difficult. Okay. Kind of approach as I'm <laughs> kind of reaching into the reaching into a pocket to try to, to procure the uh, the letter from the former king and just um say that I did have some manner I need, did need to discuss with you. Well, hello to you as well. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm not used to all these people. Is it urgent or can I wait? I'm not entirely certain. It's regarding a letter addressed to me from the former king, but written two weeks ago. Okay. What does it say? Uh, he just pulls the letter out and hands it to her, unless she wants him to just say what it what's on there. Nah, she takes it. Okay. She reads it over and she's like, mm. "Not really sure what to make of this." I I don't know either just it mentioned you by name so maybe you had some more insight but sounds like conflict between the Sarnathi Empire and our former beloved king has carried himself or carried itself into his death. It's like his spirit is restless, perhaps? His spirit is gone. That's the confusing part. Gone. It was ripped from his body, Edward.
How? Do you know? Obviously, <coughs> necromantically. But... That's... Strange type of necromanty. Necromantic magic. It wasn't... The last thing I remember seeing is... His soul was free floating next to his body. And then it just Let's go. disintegrated. I mean, I've heard of people's necromantic abilities being able to remove souls, but not manifest them outside of another person's body. Yeah, I've studied various necromancy for a long time, and I've I've never seen that. Never even heard of that. The only thing I can chalk this letter up to is that it's fake, but it it looks real. And it's concerning. Yeah. I have another urgent matter to attend to, excuse me. Okay. And she weaves you and approaches the king. And whispers something to him before leaving the room again. Okay. Does she ban the letter back or does she keep it? She hands it back to you before she leaves. Okay. okay. So while he's having that conversation, what are the rest of you guys doing? Fuck it. Fancy food. Fancy food. We already know we're not going to get in, so like... as well get something enjoyable out of this. Yeah, the uh the food is very good. Is the uh rabbit dude still just hopped around the fucking buffet table? In... At this point, no. He's moved on. Slightly hmm. annoying that I will not be able to get to my revenge to stay, but you know. Up food. <laughs> yeah, I guess we just eat. <laughs> yeah. Food and uh, conversation. <laughs> Vague mingling. Yeah. Sure. Briar just drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Briar just takes the whole punch bowl and this is mine now. <laughs> yeah, as you, uh... Probably drinks too much, but, you know. <laughs> Fancy booze. Gotta get it while you can. Mm -hmm. As you eat and mingle... At one point, you are, you as a party, uh, are approached by the Emerald Dragonborn. Oh, okay. Hmm. Mind you, K2 is with you. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Mind you. 
There was a connection made there. Oh, phone. yeah. End statement. Mm hmm. She uh, approaches the party and goes, Hello, darlings. <laughs> I don't like that sound coming from Josh's voice. <laughs> <laughs> There's something unspokenly threatening about it. Damn. Briar, who's like kind of drunk, is like, What's up, Greeny? <laughs> Don't mind her, she's slightly inebriated. She's enjoying the high spirits. I understand. Emphasis on the word spirits. <laughs> that is exactly where the emphasis is. We each have our own pleasures. Speaking of... My dear, I couldn't help but notice how much silver you have adorned to yourself. I'm yes. genuinely curious, is it actual Silverton Silver, or is it a knockoff? The polite fuck you smile on Rob's face is just... Military doesn't do fake. Their people... Silverton. Yeah. Military? Interesting. <laughs> I've heard the Silverton army is quite imposing. We must be. More try to help and frighten those in need. Of course. And they're blue, which is better than green. pissing contest is just even a little bit just a smidge better just knowing that Rava is like easily two feet shorter than this woman. Oh, you're like three feet shorter than she is. <laughs> <laughs> even better. I see. Well. Thank you for enlightening me. It's always nice getting information about various cultures. Is there anything else I could help you with? You seemed you had came over with questions. And you've answered them. Mm -hmm. I do greatly appreciate it. She turns to Atramir. She looks you up and down. She's yeah. like, You look like you've got a lot of muscle on you. Come find me if you want to have a good time tonight. <laughs> she winks at you, and then just walks away. There's a look of like... That's something I haven't experienced in 10 years, but I... Robert grabs one of the drinks and just, like, Down. instantly the polite fuck you smile just falls. Just, fuck, I hate those pretentious pricks. Can you hand me one of those? Hands. And then she downs the drink. Yep. <laughs> and it's just, just a, like, well, yeah! <laughs> there's, just a, there's just an equal, just simultaneous downing from Atramir as he's like, God damn it, I... <laughs> <laughs> as Atramir internally just, huh. <laughs> He's like, just internally, I know where my loyalties lie. 
You may be dead, but she's gonna kill me afterwards. <laughs> she's watching you from on high, and you know that. Yeah. Or from far below, you know. Depends on your belief in cosmology. Yeah. Or right behind you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just make sure the clock is knowing that she's been on a. Did I assume the red one was not nearby? If she make was a perception us. check. He's always watching. Literally, just try the clock. Where the where where the red one is in vicinity to a. I like where he's always watching. Just prior drunken in the background. <laughs> yeah, literally says it out loud. He's always watching. <laughs> Full Monsters Inc. voice too. Fog trunk. Do you want to make that perception check? Can you press the button for me, Ryan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just wait I was making sure you were going to. Yeah. Uh, twelve. Mm. He's not bad, but it could be better. He's, he's also massive. probably around. It's it's a big room. There's a big yeah. room, and at this point, a lot more people have entered. Yeah. In this case, keep keeping more of an eye on Edward to make sure he's not faced out on the ground. I would prefer my doctors remain unharmed. I mean, I hate to say it, but if you can't spot that guy in a crowd with a 12, you cannot find Edward. Edward is far too... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess after like mm, 15 minutes, Edward would eventually find the group unless um, something happens in the intervening time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, easy enough to find them. Okay. We're done. Hopefully. Terrified of what that other... Of what the green one will do to me. <laughs> what? Uh... I'm old Dragonborn. Had a fun conversation! Then she offered to bang uh, Atomir later if you wanted to. Don't do that. I'm not going to. I figured, but... The Rigri and Sumteros are all... There's a reason why I'm still wearing my ring. <laughs> Edward struggles to find a word that is polite and fails. Even if I wasn't, I yeah. still have my partner's initials tattooed on my hand. We uh, really? Yeah. Lifts up the ring, and underneath is his initials and his partner's right, right there where they would be. That's so sweet. And also incredibly painful. I don't recommend doing it. But we were dumb and young. This is Krista saying this. Um, but honestly, my first thought is, it was painful. Pussy. Yeah, I had the biggest urge when he was like, I have her uh, initials, like, or her name or whatever tattooed. I was going to be like, Sam. <laughs> but <laughs> held back on that one. <laughs> He's also been happily married to her for ten years, so... Sam. <laughs> oh, sorry. Was happily married. Uh. Do we have any other reason to actually stay? Other than whatever Briar's doing right now. 
I think whatever she's doing can be achieved in the comfort of a bar. Hey, have you guys tried this sparkling stuff? It's so... bubbly. Come to find out she's into her third bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Not glass, bottle. Now I would like to leave before the Dragonborns come back. Yeah. Look at me. As much as... Sorry. Part of me... This part of me would like to see balcony throwing and prevent it. This is all just enough so fucking. Watch her finally fly. All right, let's go before I start a fight. Mm -hmm. It's all just been a fucking waste of time. I'm gonna mm -hmm. try and take a bottle <laughs> with me. <laughs> try to get a doggy bag of. I, I, I mean. Would there even be bottles out? Uh, yeah, they would leave a couple out. Okay. In various spots to pour from. Okay. I just figured they might have just like a bunch of like punch bowls or other pre-mixed things, but okay, fair. They have a bunch of those too. Okay, yeah. fair. You gotta account for all tastes. <laughs> you, you, you know, in the corner there's a keg of Bud Light. Yeah. As you guys begin making your way out, um, everybody go ahead and make a perception check. <sighs> is Briar doing a disadvantage because she's drunk? No. Okay. This is anything other than the goddamn raspberry trail. God damn it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Reeling at lowest is like doing better than both. <laughs> than probably both Atri and myself. Atri uh, first. Woo! Yeah. Yes, join me down here at the bottom. Edward. Single digits. Uh, Hell three. yeah, brother. Yeah, you got a three total. Yeah, take it. I got a four total. <laughs> <clears throat> what was our roll for K2? Woo! <laughs> I feel like K2 is also a little... I feel like K2 yeah. has also been drinking with yeah, 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 no yeah, shoddy hasn't been. K2 is also There's, a little drinky. There yeah. is no shoddy hasn't been. No, yeah. Alright, so Rava and Edward, uh, the two of you spot Corbin coming into the party. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Um, <laughs> next Rob's time I see you. smile and uh, not say anything until they get closer, just... Once, once they're closer, just oh look, it's Corbin. Uh. Yeah, he he is wearing a full purple suit. <laughs> I love that for him. I mean, yeah. living his best like, long life. Are, are, are we talking like a dark purple, closer to black, or like a bright purple? Like a bright purple. Mm. So he looks like a grape. Yep. You know, I could. Hey. It probably still works on him. Yeah. Probably. With this pale complexion? Yeah, he stands out. Well, yeah, but it's Corbin. Yeah. He, uh... He approaches the servants that are still accepting gifts. And he, uh... He makes a gesture. says, I hope that this gift is... Plentiful for his highness. And you see... Strapped... Uh... Not necessarily strapped, but caged within oh, a no. large metallic structure is the Hellhound. My oh, man, it's casually gift in Hellhounds. <laughs> and the servants are all just like, look at um, each other, and they're like, I I'm not touching that. I don't get see, paid enough to touch that. See, now what I'm thinking is he had us do his goddamn birthday shopping for him. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> exactly what it was. <laughs> and you see, like, they all just kind of gang up like, on one of, the, one of the servants and the pushed dog? him forward. <laughs> yes, Briar, we all see that. It's fine. It's 
Don't oh, just the figment of your imagination. <laughs> Bravo! With all due respect, why are you here? Eh, we're leaving. Her just rolls up behind Rava and she's like, Hey! <laughs> Hi, Dad! <laughs> With a bottle in one hand, lifts the bottle. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Corbin just has a look like, that makes sense. <laughs> Corbin just reaches over with one hand and taps you on the head, and with the other, takes the bottle from you and gives it to one of the servants. <laughs> what? What? Why would you? Oh, come on! It was so bubbly. It was like happiness in my mouth. You can, you can find Dang. that at a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, she found happiness. I can find that at the inn. Okay. Yeah. We... Either way, stealing Why from the house so... is not nice. It's not stealing. Everyone's just not drinking it here. Also, why are you so so you? I like your suit. Thank you. I don't really think he would want to be anyone else at this point. Yeah, but like, it's it. I feel like it's too much him. Don't you ever feel like you're just too stop, much stop, you? Stop, stop, stop hating on the purple suit. I like it. Yeah. I feel like you're projecting, Briar. <laughs> no, it's just too much. It's it's a lot of purple. I Briar got feeling... every single oh. piece of her fancy clothes in black, so. <laughs> I mean, but... they're worse colors. I mean, he could have joined me with the fur-lined cape club. The cape is a bit gaudy. I... Fair. Fair. You're you're in warm climate, Atramir. Dress appropriately, please. Right. Uh, anyways. This is one of my favorite suits. I it looks enjoy good. it. Yeah, sure. Very charming. Yeah. Thank you. It's one of the few that doesn't have blood on it. Huh. That definitely even better changes the context, but yeah. So how anyway. close are you to the king? Approximately 120 feet. Nice. Relationship wise. I've barely met him. How close are you with the king? About on the same level. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've met him twice, so... Ooh. Twice as close. I only met him when he was born. Yeah, well... Twice as close is still pretty far away when you're as far away as we are, so... Oh, really? We I found I don't have much of a taste for royalty. Who does? Themselves. Not here to taste it. <laughs> that was a bad eating pun. Alright, I guess I walked into that. <laughs> yeah, we we were asking the king if we get permission to go to the Underdark and then That sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, what he right. said. Yeah. But we gotta go! Came up, started talking to us, and, and we have to go before we start a fight. Yeah. yeah. How would you start a fight? Don't that could be entertaining. We don't it's want an international incident. Pretentious, scaled ass. Hmm. Dragonborn. Yeah! Green one, uh, yeah. On one of the royal lines. Emerald. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she mm. was hitting on Atramir, and he's married. Yeah, that that was a thing that happened. Yeah, that's all she was doing. Atramir. Edward shrugs. <laughs> not not having been present. Well, call yourself lucky. I didn't. Although the king does enjoy, you know, some friendly dueling on his birthday. 
So if you were to get into a brawl, at least you wouldn't be kicked out of his party. Oh, what did I get? Nice. Man, does anybody have a way to sober me up? <laughs> oh, Darkalian. Oh. Mm. <laughs> that is uncalled for. Oh. <laughs> Wait, does Corbin know? <laughs> no, that was just me saying it. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought was that like, was Corbin. Fuck Corbin? That's rude. Yeah, I was just like, how does he know that? Yep, sadly, uh, nobody here has lesser restoration and or that was a powder. That's alien, right. Mike. I think she's a little indisposed at the moment. I don't know, she had some urgent matter to attend to. Hmm. Yeah. Since you know you have such a cool gift for the king, if ever you know you talk to him, maybe you could like slip in a good word for us going to the Underdark. Just you know, on the off chance you talk to him. <laughs> Edward's looking at Corbin like, please don't do that. <laughs> I move in front of Edward. Please do it. <laughs> please don't do that. I, I feel like if you wanted to make a good impression on the king, you could have brought a good gift. We had I limited time. Got an excellent gift. Nice. I got him a wonderful experience. Brought him drugs. One night stand doesn't count as a gift, oh, right? right. She yeah. brought him drugs with thing the Whoa whoa. They are all natural substances. Drugs. Not the same thing. Including uh, right. how to make it if he ever wanted more. I brought him got a wonderfully him a drip fed addiction. It's it's not like it's nothing bad. I'm walking away now. Edward just says walking. Wait, no, Edward come back. <laughs> Mainly because you were leading on Edward. Sarnathy robe. Silk robe. Now see, that's an impressive gift. Thank mm -hmm. you. I would want one of those for my birthday if I remembered when it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just sort of like leans over to Rava and she's like, every year we pick a different day. <laughs> so this man seems way too self-indulgent to not celebrate a birthday. Corbin, he's also old as fuck. Anyway, I should probably go make my introductions. Yeah, have a good time. Mm -hmm. It's good a party. Team. I will. You as well, Rava. Take care of yourself and whatever mess you've got with you. <laughs> gestures vaguely to Briar. <laughs> I figured it's more gestures vaguely to everyone else. <laughs> it is. <laughs> like... Lingering maybe a little longer on over Briar, but everyone else. And he gives a slight bow and ventures into the crowd. Mm -hmm. See... I'm just happy you have the fun validation of Krista for Krista that it was a good gift. Mm -hmm. I mean, of all of ours, the ones that were probably the best gifts were yours and K2's. So, yeah. Yep. Hey, come on, man. Magic flower. You can look at it. You can sniff it. It kind of seems to billow on its own. Magic flower. Yeah, but between exotic wine or an exotic hand-spun silken robe, magic flower kind of pales in comparison, Captain. Especially one that like... only works when it's in a bundle of five. Well, he doesn't know that, and, and, I'm willing to bet this flower has some sort of magical longevity. So while it may not outlive Rava's magic cloth, it'll probably outlive the wine. 
You know, wine you could just put on a shelf for a long ass time and get some Anyways. Esther, stop ruining this for me. <laughs> I need something to feel good about. Don't take this from me. What do you mean? You have a ring of self confidence. Yeah, oh, you're right. You are right. Yeah, you're right. I feel good about myself no matter what. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Krista, for reminding me of my directive. <laughs> you're welcome. You feel self assured and confident, regardless of what dumbass thing you're doing. Anyways. What's next on the agenda? Sobriety. So, as of... <laughs> Sorry. So, nice. as of yet, we don't have a way into the Underdark. And also don't know when or if this summons will be answered. Correct. Correct. So we've made no forward progress. Correct. You would remember yeah. I told you that there is another way into the Underdark. It is just... Pain and expensive and risky. It's, it's, yeah, it's a little more expensive and hmm. a little more risky because we just can't get caught doing it. Uh, I will once again put forward the idea that we have access to the mountain... Through the use of the blue opal, all you guys have to do is a couple of RuneScape missions. Yes, but we, we established all... last time. Guards in the Underdark. Yeah, there's a separate entrance once we're into the mine. <laughs> I would just say it might be easier to get in there. Just, just, just a thought. I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> We bet we don't have anything of significant connection to the Underdark. Looks <laughs> to Edward. If we did, there's a significant connection to the pit itself. Yeah. The Underdark is. Well, if it's continent wide, then there's an entire vast network of tunnels and systems and. Even and it's like, say, surface. you have a fucking leaf and want to teleport to the forest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair. It, it, it doesn't quite work like that. Yeah. Drinking? Drinking. <laughs> sure. Whatever. Wanna talk about it? What's wrong? Actually, I should probably stop drinking. The soberer I get, the faster I can help us get to the other potential path. <laughs> yeah. Come to find out yeah. Briar stumbles into a manhole and winds up in, into the Underdark. <laughs> yeah, there's just a manhole cover that you just gotta kind of pull off to the side and boop! <laughs> You're there! I guess I'm not so sure animosity knows how to, how to resolve that issue. We're gonna have to give it time. Yep. I mean, I'm not that drunk. It won't take that long. Right. So you need to make sure you hydrate, have some carbs. I mean, does one of you want to be the hangover drink? What? I'm sorry, what? You heard me. Would it get I you sober faster? Christopher forgot that Briar is a vampire. 
So I'm just like, what? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh my god. That's hilarious. <laughs> See, well, like, yeah. Ring gives us great memes, though. <laughs> Food is always helpful. My food is just different from yours. Yeah. Pass. But the gummies don't do it as well. Silver's out. Then we go to the place. Yeah, I guess she needs to like out of the tavern while Briar gets undrunk and try and figure out what the hell to do. Guess so. Yeah, that works. Uh, if she needs a block bank, we've got a large fridge. Alright, so you guys go back to the end. Sober up a bit. For probably K2 and Briar. <laughs> True. <laughs> Change out of my fancy clothes because I don't wear these anymore. Yeah, all of us are just like, <laughs> get me out of here. Yeah, so, I can get, so I can get that precious one point of AC. Yep. <laughs> Spellcaster, I need it. <laughs> Even though at this point having 13 AC is basically like not wearing armor at all. <laughs> I keep thinking that you should have proficiency with medium, but then I realize necromancers don't. I'm the wrong kind of necromancer to have proficiency like that. Yeah, switch out into the adventuring gear so that I can be in the more comfortable AC range of 20 something. Sure, sure. I think somebody is diving into the depths of the ocean. So I keep hearing weird mumbling sounds. It does sound like it. Not me. I think it's Joshua. Oh, I did. Yeah, something he's listening to or something in the background's bleeding through a little bit. Oh yeah, sorry, I stopped into my living room and Sam forgot to turn <laughs> off the TV before she went to bed. Oh, I thought I thought you were in a submarine going down down to the ocean. No, no, I wish. Then we could see the sea puppies. Oh, I would send many pictures of sea puppies. I'm sure you are they tear Zorsha... you apart. Are Zorsha and Animosity still here? Yeah. Okay. I don't Just think there would be any reason for them to leave. Look, you never know, so I gotta ask yeah. every time, because every time I expect them to just be gone. <laughs> Fair. Uh, I guess once I feel the terrible, terrible effect of sobriety, because who wants to be sober? Eh. Gross. Me, because I hate myself. Masochistic sobriety. Is the worst kind. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess we'll all 
gather up. Um, so, since we didn't actually, all the king said was it was going to take a while for that summons, right? Pretty much. We didn't actually specify how long it would take. So, the other way that we yeah. get in is there's this group that they're very hard to find. They're somewhere in Brand. Um, they don't even actually have a name just to make them that much more difficult to locate and pinpoint. Um, but they sneak people in to the Underdark. They go in there as well to, you know, collect stuff, bring it out, sell it. The only thing I do know about them is that the place that they operate out of is called the Echo, but everything else is nameless. So the bigger chore is just finding them, and then once we found them, that's that's it's pretty easy from there. You know, it is funny because I do know a guild of smugglers and we might be able to see if maybe if they have a branch out here, considering Underdark connections. I mean, yeah. Bro, we know these might be the same people. It's possible. But seeing as to how official recourse has failed us, this seems like our only option. Because let's be honest here, even if they do summon Alma out, I highly doubt King was just going to let us deal with that situation however we see fit. No. And from what even little I know about Alma, I feel like she could somehow f f flip it. And make us the bad guys. Yeah. So, I'd rather not take that chance. No. Agreed. That's even theorizing she's still there. For all we know, she's fucked off to places unknown, but... What other recourse do we have? Yeah. they get down there? Probably through a different path. Did we ask Animosity if she knew how to get down there? How they- the way they went? No. No, we did not. I don't think we ever did, did we? No, we didn't. I asked if she thought she could take us there, and she said she thought she could, but... I didn't specify from which way we were heading because I didn't know which way that they had entered and then subsequently left the Underdark, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Do we, do we ask her? I mean, it's another option, yeah. Might give us another potential avenue we haven't looked at. The more options, the better, I feel like. Yeah. I guess we do that then. If she's round. <laughs> yeah, easy enough. You uh you approach animosity, she's 
Just hanging out. Look at the other cards as usual. While not looking at them, but glancing over the backs of them. Okay, there's only like what two of you, one of you that can speak to her, so <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. That, uh, uh, excuse me. Uh in the Masati, I uh I had a question for you. Okay. Um, do you know the way down to the pit? How how are they getting to and from the surface to the pit? Through the door. What door? The door to the pit. Where is that door at? Underground. Would you be able to guide us to it? If we can get underground. I'm sure there has to be some passageway somewhere. What passageway are you all using? There are a few passageways. Well, I'm sure you would know better than we would which ones would be more frequently or less frequently <sighs> traveled. Could you take us to whichever one you know to be less frequently used? Okay. Excellent. Should, Should we go now? Able- uh, she wants to know if we want to go right now. I mean... Didn't Zorsha want to come with us for this? Yeah. I guess the question then is if Zorsha's feeling better by now? Better enough? Good question. Yes, I'll go ask her. All right. Yeah, you go into the room and Zorsha's sitting up in her bed. I'll just go flop onto the bed. <laughs> okay. So we struck out with the king. <laughs> Shocker. Well, now that's just rude. We tried. Give me your best shot. Anyways, it looks like we're gonna have to go about this in another way. And Annie thinks that she knows a way for us to get in. And I know you said you wanted to come, so I was wondering how you're feeling. You feeling up for it? Yeah, I can move around. Are you able to do that now, or do you still need some time before you're like... ...really movable again? I can get up and move. Walking isn't an issue. What about fighting? Um, I'm not sure. 
not sure, like... I don't know if I can fully fight. Like the magic stuff, or just like physically? Yeah, both. Well, do you want to test it? Before? So you know? Um, that's probably a good idea, yeah. Okay, just don't hit me too hard. <sighs> okay. She's like, she stands up out of the bed and summons her sword. Like, takes her a second, as she's like... She's wielding it for the first time in a while. Mm -hmm. so she like, she grabs it and like, stumbles a little bit for stopping herself. She's like, oh! As I say, Briar's like, <laughs> make sure she doesn't fall over. <laughs> Gotta counterbalance a little bit better with this thing. You also don't have your armor on, so... Yeah. It's a bit strange. It's, it's there, by the way. Yeah, I, I saw it. Okay, just checking. It's uncomfortable to wear it in the bed. Fair. Alright, just like, not like in the face, or like, just to be like in the gut or something. Yeah, I wouldn't want to mess up your face. Thank you. Can't mess up my seat for later. And she takes a swing at you. <laughs> and... <laughs> Roll... Roll's a natural one. <laughs> so... <Ooh. laughs> She Man, goes to swing I, at you and just drops the sword uh, mid-swing and it just clambers to the ground as she stumbles a little bit. Kind of bumps her head against the wall on the way. And the stumble goes, oh. Alright. Need a it bit more practice, worse. I guess. I mean, you didn't stab yourself. Yeah, that's true. Alright, alright. Try again. <laughs> she picks up the sword and gets back on her feet. Okay, alright. Come on, Zorsha. Swinging a sword. <laughs> Doing this since I was young. <laughs> Swinging a sword. Like all riding right. a horse. <laughs> um, that time she goes... Maybe a little too quick. <laughs> Did she go sicko mode and just like, fucking clobber me? <laughs> yeah, she she's not trying to hurt you, so she's using the blunt end of her big ass blade, and she yeah. just clobbers you in the side, like in the shoulder. <laughs> uh, you take ten points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. <laughs> just lets out like a big like. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, yep. You still got it. Good, okay. And then she says the weapon just disappears and she just sits back in the bed. Did you want to check on any of the magic stuff or just poof in the sword is, is enough for you? Alright, that's, that's enough for now. Okay. Good. <laughs> Ow, what? <laughs> it's like, just wiggles her arm a little bit. You're fine, you baby. You can make it feel better. Can I? I feel like I might have damaged you permanently. 
he just does like a dramatic flop on the bed like, oh no, my arm. <laughs> I'll never use it again. Well, we wouldn't want that. It's Jed said, in... wait now, just cut it off. <laughs> okay, she summons the sword again. Oh god, sword <laughs> shot! <laughs> I actually she need like... his arm, please no. <laughs> She, like, begins to make the motion, and the sword disappears. <laughs> Alright, fine. I need you to have that arm, too, anyway. Cool, woman. The others are waiting for us, so... Do you want help with your armor? Yeah, I could probably use some help. <laughs> Brad does her best, not getting distracted. <laughs> and a short while later, the armor is on. Does everything still fit right? Are you... I did my best to take care of it Well, you know, we had it. Are you saying I got fat? No, I meant the armor, not... How would you even get fat? They tortured you. Sorry, that was maybe too soon. Wow. <laughs> she just walks out of the room. I don't... I don't... I don't know why I said that. Why am I laughing? What is happening to me? <laughs> what? What? What's going on? <laughs> Sorsha, wait, I didn't mean to come back! Stop laughing at me, Briar. Not I'm, funny. Not, I'm trying. I swear, I promise. I'm really, really trying. I don't. It's It's not funny. I pro It's not funny. She like, slaps herself. She's like, it's not funny, Briar. Just keep laughing. <laughs> Can we hear this at this point, or are they still too far away? No, Zorch is now out in the room that you guys are in, so yes, this you can hear it. You can definitely hear Briar slap herself. <laughs> 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 Edward just kind of, like, looks up, and just... Well, that's adorable. Good for them. Too soon, Briar. Too soon. I didn't mean it, I swear! And there's Briar tripping over her own words again. I don't know what's wrong! There's just- it's like... Ugh! Can we go? Where are we going? Uh, Animosity is gonna show us the way. Her way, anyways. Assuming this doesn't also just lead back to the fucking entrance and brand. We won't know until we try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you guys take off. Walking up the hill before stopping in a familiar spot. Yeah. Outside the gates to the mine. Mm -hmm. As animosity points at them and then looks over at you, reel it, and says, The path least traveled. Huh. Well, will you look at that? What? We had a we had 
where 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 we are, are supposed to arrive. Convenient pet. Mm-hmm. I am excited. Hmm. Okay, so shall we wait to get us in, or...? That's what she says. She says she can get us in through here. I, Krista, heard that wrong, so I thought you said that's what she said. Yeah, I heard that too. Yes, but I heard it more as like the joke thing. Yeah, like, oh, that's what she said. Yeah, so it's just like. Not not as just a factual statement. Yeah. Like, damn, Reelan, okay. (laughs) Oh! Reelan's got jokes. My sister's a psychopathic maniac. Don't fuck with me right now. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, my So we I, just I, have I, to I, get I, in <laughs> through the main gate? I'm assuming Animosity's just standing there. Yeah. If she says she can get us in this way, why is she not doing anything? I will ask her that question. Mm. What do we do now? You asked for the entrance. I asked for you to show us how to get there. I did, it's right there. And how do we get past the gate? Open it. Is it locked? Probably. How do I unlock it? If I have to give you step-by-step instructions on how to use a key, I'm going to kill somebody. Where is the key? Probably on the guards, Relin. We wanted a simplistic manner of entry that precluded the need to have to interact with people. Sorsha, what are they saying? Here you are, interacting with people. Sorsha's like, they're getting into it. She's is it not because, happy. Is it because Raylan asked a question without fully expanding on what that means? I think oh, so. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I had to write everyone a novel when I asked them a question. Okay. Do either of you know of any other entrances besides this one? <laughs> uh, Zorsha repeats the question to Animosity. And Animosity turns back. Uh, to Zorsha, because she's the one that posted the question. Mm-hmm. Says, well, yes, we we know of two, three others. Where are those ones? Stone Sparrow. KDVD. And Gillimore. Which one's closest to the pit? Gil 
Lamar is the furthest. It doesn't really answer the question. I was like, like, <laughs> wait. That's the opposite of if, the... If, if you must know, the pit... As they would probably go on to tell you. Yeah. As close as they can. Is... A big old line. <laughs> ah... Uh, right the there. Inter it's the intersection. Yep. Okay. So, Brand is the closest one then? Yes. Okay. That's the closest one, which means that either by some miracle we find a way in that doesn't require us to break through or we consult the Smugglers, I guess, for lack of a better word. Provided we can find them. Or, we have to go somewhere else. And unfortunately, with the group that we have, we're just too large that I can't just teleport us all to Stone's Barrow and we can be done with it. We have to go the long way. And that is... too long. Yes. Way too long. Um... Unless... No. No, that's a terrible idea. Death would, death would be even more mad at me, and I don't need that. Not right now. Yeah, let's avoid getting death angry or at you. No. I don't think she was at the start, but I certainly didn't help things, so... It's a magical point. So, as it stands right now, I guess our best option is to try to find the... Try to find these smugglers. <laughs> As we all look at Atramir. <laughs> Atramir, did you die? Nestor. Nestor? Oh god, he's dead. I'm alive. He's alive! My voice can raise the dead. <laughs> I yeah. will definitely only use result. this for good things. Definitely not for evil or petty. I guess at this point we're looking for smugglers, Ashram. That seems like your uh, area of expertise. Alright, we'll see if we can probably make contact with either the bright legs or the copper legs, see if they have any... Uh... Associates in this neck of the woods. All right. How are you making contact? Uh, primarily locate any uh, dens of ill repute, any uh, you know, shady and or. Uh, uh, what was that last part? Uh, robot noise. <laughs> uh, look for any criminal elements. Uh, sort of just relying on the background feature here. To f background... Which background feature is it? Uh, the the background feature criminal contact. I realize I posted that under Edward, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Edward, yeah, yeah, yeah. A reliable and yeah, a reliable and trusted trustworthy contact, which is his wife. Yep. Usually, Usually the problem. Um, I 
How about you make an intelligence check for me? Her flat intelligence? Yep. Okay. I can also take us to the shadier part of town. That would also help. Flat intelligence check. Fourteen. Um, okay. Um, Atramir, given his background, uh, would be more aware that when when the royalty went through and eliminated the church. They also eliminated a lot of their criminal ties. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the criminal organizations and brand have been wiped out. Only the most secretive remain. Of which these individuals seem to be a part of, but... Yeah. And they're not within your contact network, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Drug and Atomage age. expertise basically tells us... No, no, man! Yeah. Basically, you're trying to contact is outside of my spheres of influence. Yeah, like you can you can contact back to cardinals, but you would remember that bit of information, like oh shit, that's right. Better be kind of a bitch to do so. Yeah. Especially since the only real point of contact, at least your own guild that you have, is here it, and here it is. Half asleep. Yeah. And <laughs> I was about to say, here it is. Here it. He's not the brightest apple on the branch. He's the uh, mostly dead one. Yeah. Brad, did you say these people had some kind of place they frequented? The Echo? Yeah, it's another, it's, it's hard to find. I've never been. <laughs> Edward just kind of shrugs like, what else do we have? It's pretty much it. We're going to have to just go door knocking. <laughs> yeah, I guess. We're going to have to just go find someone who knows where to find it. What other choice do we have? None. <laughs> Not any good ones, but yeah. You know. Yeah. Wait. Did you say wait? I'm doing numbers. Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay. Numbers away. Uh, Edward looks up <laughs> after he's done doing numbers. Is that about the teleport thing? Mm-hmm. That's if we had Darkalian. Mm-hmm. Without Darkalian, I can take us all to Stonesboro. How many... How many is it that you can do at a time? Nine total. Oh yeah, I guess even Fenny too, right? Yeah. Hmm. One. Two, he is his own discrete entity. Yeah, I know. Just saying, with Fenny, I think that makes us eat uh, like nine even, right? Correct. That's why with Dark Alien, I couldn't do it. Uh. And then we go where to the Stonesboro one? I mean, I don't think they have any such limitations as a... Uh, Probably a lot easier to get into. We have to find it, but we at least well, have better contacts there. Well, Animosity said she knew where the one in Stonesboro is, right? I 
I'm not crazy, right? right. She did say that. <laughs> God? God is not available at this time. <laughs> did she say that? Well, because she, they, they, said, they that said she knew the location of, of some of them. She said she knew the location of some of them. I just can't remember if Stonesboro was on the on that list. There was she said a few, and I just Stonesboro was on that list, but it was never fully expounded on how well known they were. If they knew specifically where it was, or just hey, it's in the rough area. Well then, someone ask her. <laughs> Before we go teleporting away. <laughs> well, I guess I'd rather not waste that spell slot if I don't have to. Mm -hmm. I ask her the questions. How do you phrase it? <laughs> How should I phrase it? Um... Do you know exactly where the entrance in Stone Barrow is, or in Stone Sparrow is, or just that there is one there? Do you know exactly where the entrance in Stonesboro is, or do you just know that one exists there? I know where it is. Is it guarded? Not immediately. Well... Maybe. What does maybe mean? What does maybe mean? There might be a resident there. What resident? I don't know. Is it a person? Is it a beast? What is... do you know? She just said she didn't know. She said she didn't know specifically uh, who it was. I guess that's fair. I feel it is more of a entity than a creature. I'm guessing she doesn't know anything about it directly, though. I guess we can still try our chances here, and if that doesn't work out, then... Go from there, maybe? Yeah, it's probably our best bet. Yeah. Do I have any inkling of where to even begin in the search for the Echo? Can I roll for it? <laughs> um... Make an investigation wisdom check. <laughs> oh! Oh! Why would you do me like that? <laughs> Come on, bro! <laughs> Investigation, wisdom, so would I just roll something that I'm proficient uh, in wisdom to save myself from pain here? At, at, at the end of it, where it says int, you should be able to click that and it should throw up a drop down menu. Oh, it does. Amazing. Yeah. So then you click whiz, okay, roll it, and then change it back. Not terrible, at least. Yeah, you're proficient. But however, I rolled a two and a three tonight, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's possible with every roll today. Alright, an eight. You're most likely gonna find the Echo not in residential territory, but in more of a business side. Whether it's a shady business or a well-off business, you have no idea. But you at least know it's most likely a business. Oh. 
I guess we'll start with Shady. Because <laughs> shady people know where things are. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Sure. <laughs> I was like, right, guys. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I also just go to the shadier side of town. Shadier business. Yep. Literally go to a store named Shady Business, please. <laughs> they only sell lampshades. <laughs> lampshades, curtains. Curtains, yeah. <laughs> yeah, blinds. Tarps. Yep, exactly. Blinds, blinders. <laughs> Sunglasses. Blindfolds. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. Oh my! Umbrellas. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so you go to the seedier side of town. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I guess yeah. we'll start with what CD bar. <laughs> CD bar. I guess I'll also just be like, Ashmere, keep an eye out for like, you know, your weird thief symbols and stuff like that that you might <laughs> see on a wall. <laughs> Keep an eye out for, you know, crime and shit. Yeah. Keep an eye out for your people, will ya? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, you can't no. say that. <laughs> Corey, you can... the look of, like... Clearly common is a hard language. <laughs> look, we've been through a lot today. <laughs> and by that I mean Briar's been through a lot <laughs> of liquor. <laughs> that it's, been a whirlwind. it's been a whirlwind of a day, okay? It really has. <laughs> <laughs> really fucking has. <laughs> just once. I would like to just stumble upon something slightly fine you know useful helpful just like <laughs> anything that isn't a red herring or dead end yeah <laughs> or a dead herring <laughs> or a dead herring or a red <laughs> end i mean priority caused one of those in kdb <sighs> can't wait to see the warrant out for my arrest one day it's gonna be great <laughs> Either that or just business as usual in Kitty Beatty, no one bats an eye. I'm just so curious why the body was gone. <laughs> just disappeared. <laughs> Fucking weird. Well, you know, sometimes people need corpses for things. True. <laughs> you travel with a necromancer. <laughs> True. I should know this. <laughs> you yourself are not entirely alive anymore. Hush. <laughs> Besides the point. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right, what now, God? So, so, you venture around the seedier side of town, looking for shady businesses of which you find plenty mm -hmm. are there any that you would like to th think to start are you so you said shady bar right i think i think shady bar yes. is the best for encountering the maximum amount of shady people okay i feel like that's some sound logic <laughs> that's i mean i can get behind that so let me grab from my list <laughs> CD Cider Ale in. Which one is it today? 
I want you guys to know we sat there for like an hour just saying stupid yeah. stuff, like, well, like well, well, names that we found. It, it it was mostly Josh. Yes, but we definitely. <clears throat> oh, here we go. It. Why is this bar just called Ham? <laughs> <laughs> you you find a tavern named the Bleeding Tree. <laughs> Delicious. I'm both Vegan curious and not at the same time. Blood. <laughs> Vegan blood. <laughs> <laughs> ethically sourced. No, no animals were harmed in the making of this. Fire just like ew, tree blood. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste the same. Mm -mm, tastes just like maple grass. syrup. God damn it. It just tastes like bark. <laughs> yes, but it makes your soul happy. No, no it doesn't. No it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I am all sad now. It's good for your gut health. <laughs> I don't give a shit about that. I want tasty. <laughs> Anyways. Um... Out, split up, I guess. Try and cover the most ground possible. Okay. Remember, trying to find information about the Echo. I don't exactly imagine for this being like a seedy bar or tavern kind of deal. It's not very big. It's not. Yeah. Like, we step in and there's maybe, like, five tables. <laughs> and the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Still, not a whole lot of room to cover. Look, I'm just saying, if all, like, nine of us go to the exact same place, it's a little weird. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but some of us look like narcs. <laughs> okay, well then the narcs stay outside. <laughs> What, about that? <laughs> what? Ooh. I mean, <laughs> I really mean, who's boy, the narc? listen, Boy Scout over here. I think we all know. <laughs> <that's probably laughs> like Raylan and Edward. It's not me. You're just very shiny, which I'm doesn't fair. necessarily make you a narc, but you're just very what a shiny. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just. Dressed in, like, typical ranger car, but I don't know that I necessarily look the part of a boy scout. I may act like one, but I don't necessarily look like shaked. one. You're wearing you the emblem off... of the guild. Yeah, you give off vibes, my guy, I'm sorry, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, it's just you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you look at Edward, and I don't think there's any way you could be like, Yeah, I know, yeah, he's definitely not reputable, like... No. Alright, I'll hang out here. <laughs> I'll stay with them so they don't get shanked. Good call, okay. good call. Zorsha will also stay with them. He's like, I'm too tired for this shit, alright? <laughs> Does that mean animosity goes with? Yes. Okay. That'll be fun. Wait, she's with us? Or yes. she's with yes. the normies? No, she's with you. Oh, no. Wait, do any of us who's... Oh, f none of us can talk to her. <laughs> no. No, Kate. One of you can. Oh, wait, Kate is... K I guess K2? Nope, he's staying out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Because he's not here. Yep. Fair, but... So is it really just the two of us? Three. Three. Three there's you, There's you, me, and Edward. And Animosity? Or is Edward no. staying outside? Edward... Edward looks too much of a goody two shoes to even get information out of people. Yeah, but you're so pale that you look like you don't see the sun. So, you know, that's like the clear sign of somebody who's. <laughs> I'm also actively wearing symbols that denotate me as a doctor. Hey, man, even scumbags need doctors, alright? That's not. I mean, you met Tin. 
<laughs> he was lovely. Exactly, you see? He had concerning medical practices, okay? There was no sanitation. <laughs> Edward was like, uh, this is all wrong. <laughs> I'll have you know that he successfully brought Vesic into this world. I'm pretty sure that how that kid turned out. himself. <laughs> he probably cut word. the umbilical cord himself. He stole the scalpel. He just used his teeth. What are you talking about? Mm. <laughs> All right, awesome. So animosity, Briar and Ashmere. Two of us can't even talk to her. <laughs> That's fine. Oh God, what a fucking no. trio! A criminal, a vampire, and animosity walk into a bar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> criminal, a vampire, and whatever the fuck that thing is. Yeah, pretty much. Um, knowing the way that my character is built, I'm gonna have you do the talking, Briar. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. All right, yay! I Tori love talking. <laughs> what do you? What Briar's got twenty charisma. That doesn't she mean Tori does. has to. I don't. I have like a negative. Listen, fucking two. Krista, who also has like a negative two to her charisma, had to do words. Yeah, so this is you, true. It's your turn, and I believe in you. <laughs> See what happens when Mike isn't here. We struggle so much more. Yeah. Anytime words are involved, if we just had to punch things, this would be going flawlessly, okay? Well, see, here's the thing. If we just had to talk to people, in general, just talk to them, it would have been fine. But we're trying to get things out of us talking to people. That's and that never goes well. Is. This is why my only high charisma character is Gorbass. <laughs> Gets you um, very simple. Get him! I guess... Okay, I should put Madrong away. Um... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. I need someone to keep my brain occupied or else I get distracted. Um, Even more so than usual? Yes. Or else I'll just get on my phone and then I just pay zero attention. Um, Don't look outside your window, Tori. There's a squirrel. Too dark to see squirrels. What are you talking about? 11.30 p.m. Um, it's a neon squirrel. This will start... Start with the, the 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 bartender. They know their clientele, right? Okay. Sure. You'd hope. Oh, I'd hope so. Jesus Christ. Yay, more drinking. It's <laughs> <laughs> like I just got sober and I have to drink again. Fuck. <laughs> and that's a bad thing? No. <laughs> All right, so you approach the bartender. Uh, I think this is the first time you guys have ever encountered a drow. Whoa, it would be it wasn't, cool. wasn't the head of the Bright Flies, Perrin, one? Oh, yeah, you're right, yep, he was. Yeah, never mind. Second yeah, time we've ever encountered Second a time we've seen a drow. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and I think a couple of the other Bright Flags that other people yeah. encountered were as well. Like yeah. the one that shot K2 twice, <laughs> and then K2 happened. Oh, that's true. I got fancy boots from a drow, didn't I? <laughs> yep. Oh, that's yep. right. I yes. did forget about the uh, bright flags being a drow. So yes. <laughs> the first time we so encountered them in a, a mini non-criminal setting. Drow. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> true. For all you know, drow drink, drow drink only psychedelic drinks. Whoa! <laughs> you take Whoa. one sip and then you're on a different planet. <laughs> the moon? I don't know. They poison each other for fun. Like, look, it's only on Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so go up to the bartender, just sort of like hold up three fingers for like three basic drink. <laughs> She gives you a nod, flips over three glasses in front of you, and then three ales just pour themselves out as she just stands there. 
Oh, uh, I thought it was gonna be like like from the bottom of the glass. <laughs> I've seen those. Those are fucking cool. I know they're the best things ever. You're like, how does this work? It's real life magic. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> how does it not come out the bottom? I don't understand. <laughs> Explain your magic to me, magic man. <laughs> no. Um, I'll okay. slide one over to Atramir and slide one over to Animosity. I don't even know if she drinks, but I got her one anyways. She, uh, the bartender puts down three tickets in front of you. Three tickets? Yep. Is there anything written on these tickets? Nope. I just sort of... quirk my eyebrow at her as I, like, take the ticket. <laughs> Like, what's this for? Do you ask her, or do you just quirk your eye at her? I'll ask her. Because I want to know. <laughs> you hand me those when you're ready to pay. And you pay. Can I just pay for them now? Yeah. Oh. I just slide the tickets back. <laughs> she takes them from you. <laughs> How much? One silver each. That awkward moment when uh, I am only gold. <laughs> so I give her one gold. She takes it and pockets it. Thank you much. question for you no I don't have change didn't want any perfect the, the extra is yours to keep do you or perhaps any of the patrons in here or any patrons that you know of that frequent here have heard of a place called the echo Heard of a few places called the Echo. Any one of them lead in particular underground? The rumors tell me all of them do. How many are here in Brand? All of them. Do you know where the closest one is? I do. I'll flip her another gold coin. <laughs> she takes it and pockets it. It's not that far away. Is it... I've heard it's part of a... business of some kind. Do you know which one? There's an emporium up the road. It's run down. Not in good shape. Most people call it Jim Jim Jams. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Jim Jams or specifically Jim Jim Jams? Jim or are Jim they, Jams. Are they, is it Jim's Jams or is it like Oh, it's, Jimmy's it's, Jams. It's Jimothy Jimson's Jamboree. Oh, okay. Jim Jim Jams. <laughs> God! That makes sense. Fucking damn it. <laughs> that word anti-inspiration in the DM, because he made <laughs> me mad. <laughs> no. It doesn't do it doesn't do anything, I just want you to know. Okay. Is it uh open to anyone or Something you need to get in. Yeah, there's a passphrase. I don't know it. I've never been there. But Do you... some of the people at the tables might. Do you know where I'll have the best luck? 
At the tables. Which one? And I'll flip her another coin. Try the gamblers. You can oh. win it. Perfect. I'll just give her a nod. Ashmere, how good are you at gambling again? <laughs> Oh god, he's dead! Nestor? Nestor! One second. Okay. <laughs> Push the talk on here is not the most responsive thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I feel you. Yeah. Sure. I forget, I don't think I'm all that good at it. Oh, right, wrong character. <laughs> Fuck, this is your Sunday character that's the gambler, shit! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Actually, before I look over at Achmir, uh, do I get the gist that this drow has been telling me the truth this whole time? Or has she just been lying on the ass for money? Now you inside Listen, check. listen, okay? Tor all, all of Tori's brain cells were focused on say words good. It's been and not so long words to since me. I've required this much. <laughs> Normally, I just, I have Mike to fall back on, okay? Alright, all right, fair. Yeah, make an insight check. Help <laughs> me some slack. <laughs> I didn't even stutter during my talking. I've tried. <laughs> All right, you get the sense that the gold was a good incentive for her. She was, she was honest. Okay. From what you can tell. Wait, shit. Who's the gambler in this group? Is it K two? Probably. It's not me. It's not Atramir. Can't even ask animosity. Fuck. <laughs> it's not K2. It's not proficient. Then if it's not K2 or Atramir, then it's no one. Shit. <laughs> well. What are they? What are they? What are they? What are they gambling? <laughs> is, is that the sentence? What are they playing while gambling? I guess that's a better question. I'll go simple. Texas hold them. Actually, Ryan, can you uh, double check for me proficiencies real quick? Do I still have. Is this the one with playing card set? Or is this no, this one? No, as far as I can tell. No, I think this is. It's your. It's it's homie on Sunday that. Okay, yeah, it is yeah. Malkir then. That I have, yeah, that it's Malkir that. Uh, we've, left him alone to, we've left him alone to play cards many a time. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I do not have sleight of hand proficiency either, do I? Uh, I don't think you do, Captain. I'll check. Uh, oh, no, you do. That doesn't necessarily help you with gambling, but... Okay, yeah. Um, Texas Hold'em is just poker, right? Can you tell that I don't Correct. gamble in real life? <laughs> okay. Yep, just poker. <laughs> All right. It is poker. Well, I guess ironically, just... my Ironically, my own knowledge is better than my character. I, I mean, guess it's just trying to, like, I don't think he, I guess you don't really need to be, do you need to be proficient in playing cards to play poker? You don't need to be proficient. No. Yeah. Not It'll help you understand cards, like, hand strengths, and whether or not you need to fold or bluff better. I, I, I really hope Josh isn't going to go that complex with it. Yeah. All because right, I, I think will... we'd all be fucked. I would just be sad. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I know, like, the basic stuff about what, like, cards and how suits and all that shit work in poker, but, like, not that much. <laughs> I set a card face down and had my turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I play... I play... <laughs> I place this card in defense mode. <laughs> but <laughs> the next yeah, turn like comes magic. around, you've activated my trap card! Yeah, if you are playing magic, it, I'd be in. Quit using sub tears um all right i guess i'll go over to the gambling table all okay. right is there an open spot <laughs> yes hello i, I would, I would like one thing. gamble please i would get yeah, hello sir i would like to there is an open spot <sighs> i'll sit down i guess i'll be your imposing bodyguard from behind yep 
just pictured Atramir in a suit that's just a little too small for him, so like, <laughs> li 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 like the shoulder seams are a little ripped. All right. I, you Tori, know down. nothing about cards, but I can't imagine that Briar has never played poker once in her life, so. Knowing the amount of debauchery you get up to, probably yeah. at least one. So you take a seat. Uh, they wordlessly deal you in. Mm-hmm. And then, after you're dealt in, and your hand is in front of you, um, one of them asks... What are you playing for? Coin or information? Information. Alright. You win the hand, we tell you what we know. You lose the hand. You leave. You leave? <laughs> <laughs> you lose the hand, you tell us what you knows. <laughs> so this is a, a one and done? One and done. You only get one shot. One shot. One opportunity. Sorry. Um... <laughs> Better hope the cards are in your favor. Heart of the cards. Come on, Yu-Gi-Oh! Don't fail me now! <laughs> My grandfather's deck has no beat heart. Oh, sorry. Keep going ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Except for this one. I just drew right. this little bitch. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> so, uh, go ahead and roll... 2d13. Roll 2d13. Alright. And I will roll for the gentleman at the table. There are four of them. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. I was like, I literally had to just like go in that in my head. I was like, Ace, two, three, four, five, all the way to King. I was like, oh, 13, okay. <laughs> yep. Um, yep. So there is the, the cards that are flipped up the river. Uh-huh. So. I vaguely know what's happening. I've yep. seen some poker online on YouTube before. You have, you have more <laughs> idea so, than I do right now. But at this point, you have a pair. Uh-huh. Pair of fives. Mm-hmm. Overall, not bad. Could it's be better. not terrible, right? but... God, this could be... So, assuming that everybody stays in, because, mm -hmm. yep, looking at everybody's hands, everybody stays in. Yeah, I'm staying in. So now you have two pairs. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, that's still pretty good, that's still pretty good. Uh, I will still stay... I have no choice, I'm literally in all the way, like, this is a one and done, we're not leaving. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Would you like to try to bluff your way into saying that you have a better hand. I have a is this is this gonna be off deception then? Yes. Then sure, I have a plus ten. Okay. Come on. Dice, be kind. Please. Twenty-eighth. Okay. I will roll insight for them. That's terrifying. <laughs> the fact that a 28, it still is a maybe. Okay. You also gotta keep in mind, Ryan, to a degree, we're probably dealing with regular, uh, you know, people who do this often. So the first guy folds. Mm-hmm. Cool. The second guy stays in. Okay. Okay. Huh? The third guy stays in and the fourth guy also stays in Ugh. man i can't tell if that means that they beat me or maybe their hands are just that good that even <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's also yeah i guess that's also a fair case oh i'm gonna start getting this and decide to stay in all right so knowing that only one of them folded I'm assuming you stay in, <laughs> otherwise yeah, you're out. I mean, I, it's a one and done. It's not like a, okay, you fold and then 
you can get another hand, and it's only if you, like, lose, lose, but, yeah, so, it's, we're in. <laughs> okay. Alright. Show me another 13 or a 5, give me a full house, please. This is it. I know. This is all it is. I, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right, it's 3, 4, yeah, 5. Yeah, right, yeah, okay. 5 cards. So, so we can only do a 3, 1, 1, so I got confused. Yeah. Um, so, you had two pair. Mm hmm. With two fives and two thirteens, which is two aces. Mm hmm. I think they're really good. Actually, the thirteen would be kings. When thirteen yeah. be king, yeah, one would be. Would be... Yeah. yeah, ace would be one. Yeah, yeah, so, ace would... Yeah, two fives, two kings. Still good. good. Uh, the good. person that folded had a pair of fives. Okay. Mm. Wow, okay. damn. <laughs> um, the first person that stayed in had a king and a five in his hand, same exact as you did. He had the same thing. So he thing? also has two pair. So we tie. high high king. So you guys tie. We tie. Oh my god! What do these yeah. other two have? Technically, the... that's not possible. Yeah, because they're, they're suits, using the cheap but... cards, but it's dice. It's D and D. It's fun. Yeah. yeah, it's dice. I mean, there's four kings in a. Uh... Yeah, but I'm counting like six fives now. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Uh, of that would only be that's four. Yeah, because Briar yeah. has one. There's one on the table. Yeah, and the first two. And there's one, one of each of them in their hands. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So there's. Uh, okay. There's all. I'm missing. Yep. yep. Yeah, I, I I rolled four fives. <laughs> <laughs> Which funny. is kind of crazy. Christ. Yeah. The uh the third guy had two eights in his hand. And the eight that came up, so he's got three of a kind. I don't know what beats is three of a kind better than two pair. I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't what... know. It's, I don't know what's better. <laughs> We're trying to do things we don't even know about. It's <laughs> uh, three of a kind is better than two oh, pairs. Fuck. Damn, it is one step up. Yeah. Fuck. So he wins. Damn. I thought that was the guy. No. no, 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 folded had, uh... he, he just had a pair of fives, then the next guy had the same thing that Briar had, and then the third guy is the one with the three. He just happened to have, uh, uh... Yeah, just barely scratched it out, so there's the, uh, the cheat sheet. So, high card, pair, two pair, and then three of a kind, right above it. Oh yep. my god. So, and then the last guy had... Pair of kings. Huh, so you have the other two. Yep. Mm hmm. Or the other. One other. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because. Not five kings in the set of cards. Well, damn, that sucks. Yep. Orange be damn. So would Atramir like to try his Briars? I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I'll <laughs> I'll get up and then switch places with Atramir. Oh, right. you're asked to leave I'll... entirely. I have, have to leave, leave completely. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's what they the said. stipulation. Can I finish you my drink leave. first? Nope, take it with you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Glass and all. Yep, they don't care. Don't Com <laughs> another commemorative cup. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll Briar just, will just yeah. Briar will just chug the drink and just kind of like slam the cup on the table, maybe slightly unnecessarily too hard. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and cracks. Yeah, yeah like, the cup just <laughs> floats back to the bartender. What's Anna Moss? <laughs> is he doing right now? She's watching. Okay. Yeah. Watch Hatchmere <laughs> also fail. Animosity wins, and yeah, yeah, yeah. can't convey the question. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll your two d thirteen for Atramir. Ryan. I heard. Five and a twelve, almost the uh, exact same thing as. <laughs> what is with all these fives? The fuck. Ay ay ay. Okay. I've rolled for all of them, making sure that 
Is this feasible? It is. All right. I'm making a sanity check. Uh, when I get out, so... by the way, I'm gonna like tap Rob Ooh. on the shoulder and like tag her in to go into the bar. <laughs> okay. To replace me. <laughs> so looking at that, your attachment doesn't have anything. Inside? Yeah, they're we're playing. It's poker. Just go. You might have to play next if Atramir doesn't win. It's a one and done. We're just gonna cycle the party through the card game. Yeah. Atramir's got right. jack shit. Jack <laughs> yeah. shit. Or well, he's... in most cases, it would probably be highest card. Uh, yeah, that's which is a king which, on the yeah, table. Don't you don't. Yeah, yeah, you don't even have that. Yeah, you've got a. You got a five and a queen, and what's on the table is a two, a six, a king, a seven, and a four. Yeah, you don't even have a straight. You're close, but close. Yeah. The ace. Yeah. Damn. All right. Yeah, he just needed a three instead of a two. Or like so. Would you like to, uh, try to bluff your way through this? <laughs> you got no choice, it's one and done! <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I deception. believe in you, Adjimir. Did they beat me on my 28 deception? No, they were just yeah. confident Okay, in their they hands. just had... Really? Yep. Damn. I forget, Ryan, is it my persuasion, deception, or intimidation attire? Uh, well, this is specifically a deception check. Yeah, which you rolled a 15 on. Alright. Heard. See, here, here's a little bit of a problem. I have to. I don't got... It doesn't matter. You might roll... You might just get really good cards. You might get a good hand. So... And it's one and done anyways, so like, even if you bluff, you fail or succeed, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so the first three people all fold. Wow! <laughs> oh Believing that you have a better hand than they do. Oh my god, so it's a 1v1? Yep. Oh no. And it's you no. versus guy number four. And, <laughs> and I don't, uh, unless he has... He literally needs one pair. Yeah, that's uh, all he needs. Which he does have. He has a yeah. 7 and 11 in his hand, so Fuck. he wins. Fuck yeah. him. The other two also had a pair, but they weren't confident in it because it was the 4. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, and higher pairs beat lower pairs. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yep. So, yeah, relying on a pair of 4s is yeah, no, not risky. the best move when there's a king and a 7 out there that are better, and a 6. Yeah, yeah. When, when, <laughs> and when your the potential is, for a straight. Yeah, when your pair is rough. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> All right, tag team, you leave. We sent somebody else in. Rob is in there now with animosity. So... Yeah, I, I. I gave her the rundown of what was going on and that it was card. <laughs> Briar's like, you were in the military. The rundown of what I'm supposed to be asking too, by the way. Oh yeah, she would. I would have. Told you that cool. as well. Would have yeah. been. Yeah. <coughs> We're trying to get the trying to get the uh, the passcode to get into Jim Jim Jams, uh, and the Echo. Well, inside the Echo that's inside Jim Jim Jams. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I'll tag Rava in, leave, and. <laughs> yes, we'll send it. Who wants Edward? to go next? I guess. I'll tag Edward in next. Edward, you're up. <laughs> I, All right. I just literally can't. Give him the rundown. Well, hold, hold on, hold, hold on, no, sir. What's Garza? I was just gonna ask what the hell I type. I don't remember what to oh. type in. Oh, uh, slash thirteen. Yeah, slash R two D thirteen. Or slash R. I always type in roll. <laughs> R. With a space okay. after the R. Yep. Hopefully it works, and I don't look like a dumbass. Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, that's oh, wow. what I had! What is with <laughs> all these fives? What is happening? Nice. Oh my god, here we okay. go again. Round fucking two. Yeah, all right. right. One, two, three, four. Okay. Is it feasible? 
We'll we'll see. One yeah. So there's who Oh no. Why couldn't this have been last one? Right. Hmm. I don't think that's anything again. No, it's nothing. nothing at all. Well, she technically has the pair on the table. Yeah. But so does everyone. So does everybody else. Yeah. So, so, so if everybody everyone... has a queen, then they're yeah, not automatic loss. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Roll. Unless that you can bluff them out. That's. Yeah. Deception check. I believe in you, Rama. Uh, hold on. I have to check my deception. It's not good. Uh, I know. Well, I probably no, I have a negative one. Yeah. yeah I... Ooh. We know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Still possible. Still possible. I had the best shot, but I had the fucking best hands against me so far. <laughs> yeah. You also had the best hand out of all of us so far. Okay. They they all rolled like shit on their insight, but okay. they were still higher than a five. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. Really? <laughs> I know. Oh Shocker. Um, it's almost like a so none of them holders, and the the first one flips over the queen. Ah, fuck. Mm. okay. So uh, the rest of them, one of them had thirteen and five again. What the? Uh, what? <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, there's a thirteen the and one. five, a thirteen and a four. Uh, what? so he had a pair. Yeah. But what yeah. Happening. Okay. All right. Well, I want you to know that Chris is going into this confused. I don't play cards. That's all right. Okay. Oh, I've just been yeah. rolling with. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Tr yeah. Yeah. Trust me, Krista. I have no fucking idea either. All right. Well, <laughs> Edward's up. Edward's <laughs> up. And then who do you tag in, Rama? The downside about this game is you can't get a flush. Who the no, fuck is left can't. that could? Uh, Benny. you can send in Zorsha. <laughs> Zorsha can go in and, um... Reelin. Reelin, but he's gotta take off his guild badge. Zorsha. Alright, Zorsha's Zorsha. Zorsha, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Edward, two, you're up. 13. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh, okay. Well, he's okay. starting with a pair. Yeah. Yeah, it's a low pair, though. It is a low pair, but yeah, hey, there's, if there's like another so four... Well. Yeah. Okay. Watch every single one of them. Two more people in, that are getting dealt. Uh, I'm, just gonna, dealt I'm just gonna roll them all together. Here we go. Okay. Wow. There's three fours on the table. Okay. Three, four, five, six, right there. Yeah. So if somebody has a seven or a or two, two. <sighs> yeah. They get yeah. Then they get the straight. Yeah. Mm. All right. Go ahead and roll your deception check. Okay. Leave. Yeah. All right. They could roll shit. They could. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if that's a bad oh my god or yeah. a good oh my god. The first guy folds. The second guy folds. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and the other two stay in. Okay. Okay, okay. So, the first one that did not fold mm -hmm. had a pair of eights in his hand. Okay. Okay. So, I still, so I still he had a pair out. of eights. But you yep. still have three of a kind. Yep. Uh, the second guy had a five and a ten in his hand. So he had two pair. But you he still loses to your three of a kind. Yeah! So you win. Edward! Edward! <laughs> the one who is definitely the most like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and I don't know how to... Okay! We gave him like the speed run outside. I was like, alright, Edward, here's... <laughs> Texas hold him. <laughs> okay. All right. So as you show your winning hand, mm -hmm. they all immediately draw weapons on you. 
and they're like, I think he's cheating. And as they're like winding up getting ready to attack you, Animosity just draws her sword quick and decapitates one of them. <laughs> no. Okay, she was the real muscle all along. Oh yeah. And then you just watch as her form just shifts into him. And then she just picks you up and says, I know it, in common. And just carries you out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it, like, she knows the question, or she knows yep. the need, I guess? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, Edward, kind of stunned, um, doesn't react. Just yeah. like, okay. Just gets carried out of the bar. Yeah, just, yeah okay. Yeah, she just throws you out the door as she kicks one of them backward, just knocking him into the other two. And they're like, oh, fuck, it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <that's what> it... <laughs> Edward, who probably still has, like, visceral blood, like, on him, just... Huh, that was interesting. Like how, yeah, you come out and we're all just like, what the fuck happened? I won, <laughs> I think... Well, I, I won, I think... Because they all drew weapons on me and thought I was cheating, and then animosity captivated one of them, and, and like she walked through, and now oh, looks like one of them, fuck. and can apparently now speak common. Uh, well, that's where we'll end tonight. What the fuck? <laughs> we already knew that she could do this because we yeah asked about it the last time. Well, no, I just mean the, the I just mean mm -hmm. the situation as a whole. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the recording here. So thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.